What's going on guys, it's Unknown Player here today, we're back with some more live streaming of Destiny 2 the beta. Gonna be having some fun and uh, did a live stream earlier, I'm sure most of you guys saw it, but we played for a good three and a half hours and we played through the start of the beta, hung out, tested weapons, did some grinding, did some experimenting of stuff and uh, I played a little bit since I ended the stream, I got some food, used some aircon in the room to kind of cool it down and uh, found some new weapons, found this thing mainly, the um, Omelon pulse rifle basically, I think there's... I think there's like two pulse rifles in this build. There's, do I have it? No, there's like two, there's, there's a couple pulse rifles, but this one is pretty good. It's still like, it's kind of a weird gun, but it's, I like it for Crucible. I like it for Crucible, but how you guys doing in chat? What's up? How you guys doing? How is everyone? You guys enjoying the beta? Let me know if you're playing the beta or if you're on Xbox and if you're just waiting for the beta to go live tomorrow. It goes live tomorrow at 6 p.m., uh, 10 a.m., 6 p.m. UK time, 10 a.m. Pacific. So same time this beta went live today. Um, the Xbox Live, the Xbox beta goes live as well. So let me know how you're getting on in chat. Found anything cool? Found any cool weapons? Got any impressions? Let me know. What do you think? What do you think? But yeah, I'm pretty excited to use this gun, to be honest. I like it. I'm not sure about PvE. I think this is better in PvP, to be honest. But um, and also on my Hunter, I got this thing. Does not compute, which is my favorite scout rifle. This is a really good long range weapon, so <clears throat> pretty happy about this thing. To be honest, I should probably put on this perk. And this is the best go. But I'm thinking I might also start my warlock. I think I'll play for a bit on my um a bit on my hunter. But then I think I'm going to I found a Vex dungeon. <laughs> Were you able to go inside it? Because I also did a bit of exploring myself, which I don't know, I may do in stream, but the thing about exploring Nessus is that you need to um, you need to have a fire team. Because you can't like match mate with randoms and they'll be doing the strike and you'll be like holding them back and then once you get to a checkpoint they'll drag you forward. So you need to have a full fire team, maybe I'll do that later on the stream. Or maybe I'll do a whole stream just exploring, but it's fun, it's cool. Like, it's cool going off to Nessus and just exploring and seeing where you can go. But I think we'll do a, let's do, let's do a bit of, let's do some Avert Spire. A bit of strike action. And of course, at the end of this strike is a loot box, a loot chest thing that spawns right where the boss dies. And it gives you two loot drops. So <clears throat> pretty good way to get loot. But the strike takes about like probably 20 minutes. Um, and you get two loot drops, whereas Crucible is like a maximum of eight minutes and you get one new drop. So I feel like Crucible might be the most efficient way as long as games go quite quickly. Uh, so what do weapon mods do? More console in chat. <laughs> we should get him on the stream actually. We should, we, we, should, uh, we should definitely play together at some point. What do weapon mods do? Essentially weapon mods are... Weapon mods are very broad. The weapon mods are, what does it say? Attach a mod to a weapon to improve or add to its perk. Doing so consumes the mod. So weapon mods are like, they're quite broad. There's a lot of them. So these are infusion, where you basically just the same. You level up weapons, you infuse them. I think it's going to keep kick kicking me out of the menu because Destiny. I wonder if that's going to be in the final game. Do you think I'll be in the final ge game where you people keep kicking you out of your menu every time you load into a game? But <clears throat> the, yeah, so this is basically infusion. So you infuse your weapon as normal. This mod is for shaders. So yeah, just put shaders in your weapon. That's really, really cool. So all legendary weapons are going to have shaders. Uh, so you have like, yeah, just a legendary gun, like imagine this gun but blue or like gold or something like that would be really cool. Um, do exotics have shaders? No, exotics don't have any mods. Well, right now, I'm sure this will all change for the final game, but exotics don't have any mods at all. So no shaders. I wonder how you infuse them, but set a piece of legendary gear to consume that item will be used to consume and infuse another item with power. Right. So yeah, that's how mods work. The perks are a little bit confusing, not sure, this is an intrinsic perk, I'm not sure if that can roll differently, in the beta it's not, it's always the same. Whereas these are the sights obviously, and other perks as well, so yeah, this is, this is what we're rocking with. But, let me show you this bare pulse rifle, this thing, love it, oh, a fallen, a fallen ship. Let me ride it, I'm gonna ride it. Let's see where it takes me. Yo, what house is this? It's like a purple house. I'm gonna ride the fallen skiff. Where's it oh no, it disappeared. Oh rip. Oh, that wasn't as fun. In Destiny 1, you can like, what is this? What is this guy? What is who is this? What's this guy's name? A wretch wrench? Honey. Wretch. 
I've never even seen this dude before. I'm getting destroyed. I'm going to die. <laughs> There's a captain. You're not too exciting. I'm literally going to die. Yeah, I'm going to die. What level are these guys? 200. I was too busy staring at the guy with the big spear. <laughs> That's so cool. I love the fallen man. I love the fallen. Where are these guys at? So, what, so what's going on here then? You've got this captain. You've got the shank. Fighting some cabal dudes. What's up, captain? How you doing? I miss you. I miss you from Destiny 1. But now you're purple and stuff. And now you're teleporting. Oh, there's another skiff dropping more stuff. I'm going to back away. I'm literally just going <laughs> to... I feel sorry for these... What is... Are people down here as well? Who's down here? Oh, there's another drag. Can I just back away, please? There's fallen everywhere. <clears throat> I'm just completely abandoning my teammates who are doing the strike. And I'm just obsessed with these fallen. Actually, use this pulse rifle. Use the pulse rifle, which I've been banging on about. Yeah, I'm not sure how it will do in PvE. I think another skiff. Why is there so many skiffs dropping off people? And who's next to me right now? What is that? What does that say? Marauder. Marauder. Yeah, what was that? Five, oh, five pounds from Omega Impulse. Thank you very much. Five pound uh, super chat donation. That is also enabled on this channel. So if you wish to support me, again, it's not necessary. But you guys, uh, if you want to do that, then you are incredibly generous. And I really appreciate you guys. If you want to support me. Oh my god, there's so many people here. Um, yeah, I really appreciate that. If you want to do that, then it'll pop up on the screen with a notification. And also on the screen right now, you can see my total sub count. That's the number next to my head. In case you're wondering, I'm going to die again. In case you're wondering what the number is. And <laughs> the you can see if you subscribe to my channel, then you also pop up on the screen. Uh, just the normal subscription. Like, you know, YouTube subscription. Um, but if you want a super chat, donate, which is basically YouTube's method of donation or tips then you'll also pop on the screen, or there's just normal regular donations. There's a um, Streamlabs link in the description, if you're interested. But like I said, don't feel don't feel obliged. You guys are generous enough, but I really appreciate that. Thank you very much, Omega. What is that? Unyielding Servitor. I am literally ignoring this entire... <laughs> I'm ignoring... I, I, I better not transport now. Transport me now. I'm ignoring this entire... This skiff is like not stopping. I wonder if this is like an event. Is this something I'm supposed to do? I'm going to die again. Straight step. I could do with an arc weapon, to be honest. These guys have a lot of arc shields. Do I have an arc weapon on me? Uh, can use that. I don't know why. Like, I don't know what's going on here. Is this like an enemies moving against each other? Resilient wrench. I think this might be. I think this might. That dude's so cool. So I guess that's a new enemy type of... Um, what does he do? Does he just like poke me with that big spear of his? He's gonna stab me. He's fallen a funny man. <laughs> I'm getting destroyed again. I'm getting destroyed. I'm I'm, I'm too busy paying attention to um to everyone else. <laughs> I don't know. Do you want me to go play the strike or do you want me to keep messing around with these fallen? I've assumed you've seen the strike a billion times. I think these fallen are pretty cool though. What is that guy? Resilient vandal. Look how they move. They're like crawling and stuff. This is just like... Oh, they disappeared. Oh, I think it was an event. Oh, interesting. Okay. <laughs> well, now we got to the bottom of that. Let's get some heavy ammo. And let's peace out this place. That was... That was fun. I wish I could hop on my... Um, Sparrow. Oh, there's loads of heavy ammo here. Nice, nice. My teammates are probably wondering, where has Unknown Player gone? What is he doing? But um, that's pretty cool, because the fallen you don't really see. Yeah, I think yeah, I think you're right. <clears throat> I think you're right. The mods, the mobs do seem to get harder. The same as yo, yeah, well, there's a pike. If you can get on these. Stop shooting me, bruh. So you can get on these every now and again. Pikes roll around, and yeah, you can basically just explore if you want. You can actually drive on this stuff. I don't think it... Does it hurt you? No, it doesn't. Normally, if you walk across this, it'll hurt you. I have completely abandoned these teammates. It's probably going to drag me forward, to be honest. There's a little area that looks like the Vault of Glass. Vault of Glass door. He can't go through there. But it's a bit of Vex architecture. Yeah, we're, we're exploring right now. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to explore because you need a fire team, but... 
I'm just completely doing my own. I'm in my own world right now. I hope these guys don't get mad at me. It'll probably drag me forward. Once they get to a darkness zone, they'll drag me forward. <clears throat> but yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this. This look at Nessus. I'm doing very good, Tim Khan. Thank you for asking. Um, but yeah, if you stick around here, there'll be fallen on pikes that... Pike drag. Okay. I don't think... Have you ever seen someone so excited about, about a bunch of fallen in your life? <laughs> I think you guys are like, why is he so excited about a bunch of fallen? <laughs> Bunch of dregs. Um, we can actually also... Um, I was with more console and Jack earlier, and we were trying to get our pike across onto this. Uh, no! Oh, rip, 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 rip. But you can't really... like Once you get to the portals, it is very, very hard. Once you try and... Um, once you try and get, to get across. <laughs> okay, let's actually play this right now. <laughs> oh, man. Um, right. I'm, I'm surprised it hasn't dragged me forward yet. Approach the drilling site. I'm not sure where they are, but they're far ahead. Kind of wish I had a sparrow right now. Sparrows are not inside this beta. Only pikes, which you can steal if you manage to find the dreg bomb. That's pretty cool. Can you show us the subclass build? I can indeed. You pass the lost sector, it's the VOG door. Yeah, there's a couple lost sector signs around it. I feel like I might cover it in a video and show all the locations and just kind of go in depth with it. But back there, there are a couple of sector signs, but you can't go into any of them because this is a strike. And following from Destiny 1, you can kind of assume that you won't be able to um, you won't be able to go inside Lost Sector. Because Lost Sector is something you can only do inside patrol, obviously. So that's, that's basically the deal with that. I was kind of expecting them to drag me forward, but they haven't yet. So I'm not sure what the deal is with that. Okay. Which way am I going here? Let's switch back to this pulse rifle. I like this gun. Big fan of this thing. Oh, it's all glowing. It's because Omelon is like liquid matter. <clears throat> so it's um, all liquid inside. Which is cool. It's, it's like a good... It's probably... Maybe Hawks or Archetype? It's kind of similar. It's about similar. I wonder if that's one thing I'd, I'd like to know. I wonder if the Archetype is the same as Destiny 1. I wonder if the rate of fire, the numbers are identical. Like, is there a 81, 22 hand cannon? You know? I wonder, like, what the Archetypes are and what, um, how many of them are. Because most, weapon most weapons have four different uh, Archetypes. There's some epic music going on, but I'm just, I'm just having a casual stroll right now. Glitching it with a pike. Yeah, there's a lot of um, <laughs> there's, a, a, there's a lot of attempts to try and break the map and go underneath it and stuff and try and find locations. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of a lot of stuff found, but we'll see how that goes. These guys are okay. So they're trying to yeah, they're they're eliminating the drill officers. They're not that far ahead to be honest. I thought they'd be a lot further. I love how I, I started off saying, yeah, you can't really explore because there's other teammates here. And then I just did the opposite. I mean, there was an event, so there's a bunch of um, skiffs dropping off. Dropping off a bunch of Fallen. But it's pretty cool to see that new type. What was he called? I've already forgotten his name. The... I can't even remember his name. The guy with the big pointy spear. <laughs> I can't remember his name. But he was pretty cool. Like, he's new looking. And he kind of moved. Like, I noticed the Vandal as well. He was, like, crawling. He was crawling like a spider on like his arms and legs. It was really weird. So the fallen seem I like it. They seem upgraded. They seem um They seem like actual spiders, you know. Um what was that vex fluid you drove over with a pike? Yeah, that's as you said, it's it's vex fluid, it's radial orient fluid, which is actually the vex. The white stuff in the middle of their chest, that's literally the vex. They're like a microscopic race, and the, and the robot bodies are just like frames that they uh, that they use as like mech suits to go to war and stuff. But yeah, the Vex are actually that white stuff. The white is there any around here? No. The um, it's like acidic and electric. It, these are explosive barrels, by the way. Fun facts: yellow things. <clears throat> I'm here, teammates. It's all good. I know you miss me. Uh, what do we need to do? Ball, ball the ball drill.
Yeah, there was a Marauder. Marauder was someone different, I think. Marauder was, um... The Marauder was, like, the invisible guy. That's Actually, that's another uh, new new enemy type. The Marauder's, like, a... It looks like a granny. It's got, it's like, this big hood over his head. They're, like, old granny fallen. <coughs> but, um... They were... Yeah, Marauders are... They go invisible, and they've got two blades. They're kind of similar to Vandals. But they're a little bit different. And they're called Marauders. And there's a different guy with, um... With the big spear that jabs you and stuff. Doesn't seem like a nice guy, to be honest. Oh, it's Strider time. Also, look at this ground slam. Wait. This ground slam is actually really good. It's almost like a... I'd say it's probably the same as a Fist of Havoc. Like the the, new, the Destiny 2 Fist of Havoc. The slightly weaker version. So the Arch Riders, it's not bad. It's not bad. This guy's got like 70 billion War Beasts on him. <clears throat> Waiting for my beta to download. Right. Let's hope this thing launches in the right direction. It's going to be a short trip. I don't know how, but somehow you can die from this. Is it going to kill me? No. But a lot of times I have seen it when you get killed. You like hit the top of the... <coughs> hit the top of the ceiling. We found out the hard way not to sit near these guys when you kill them. Because they explode. And they do a lot of damage. Are there no dudes up here? Guess not. Let's use the this thing. Actually, do I have? Yes. Right. So yeah, I'm gonna try and put on most long range weapons because those are typically the best. How is the beta so far? It's good. It's it's awesome to just play this game in your home, like at your own pace. Like every time I've played this, always been events. It's always kind of rushed. You're always trying to capture stuff. You're always trying to get as much gameplay as possible. There's never much time to just kind of chill and just enjoy it. It's always like, I need to get footage of this. I need to try and do this. So it's good to be able to play it and just enjoy it and just, just kind of hang out. Especially hanging out with you guys is awesome as well. Um, but yeah, it's good. It's, it, it's very limited. It's not. There's not a lot of stuff in this beta. Like, not at all, to be completely honest. But I'm not that bothered about it, to be honest. I'd rather less than more. I would rather not go away saying, oh, I've played like a course of the game like Destiny 1. Even though... If you did, even though if the beta for Destiny 2 was the same as Destiny 1, it still wouldn't be like a quarter of the game, but it would be like kind of spoiling the experience because I don't know if Bungie have even, I'm probably going to die again. I don't know if Bungie, I don't know if Bungie have even uh, figured out the loot system. They're still tweaking it and the light level and all that stuff. So yeah, I'm the last one standing and I'm one shot. And there are war bees trying to eat me. Hello, War Beast. Get away from me, War Beast. Oh, he's revived himself. I don't really want to go revive that guy because he's in the middle of like 10 billion drills. <laughs> I feel like a mole just popped my head up. Is it safe? Is it safe? Can I sprint to the end? Oh, is that going to kill me? It would have killed me. Down here. Let's go. Can you get weapons from PvP? Where am I? Uh, yes, you can. Yeah, you can get weapons with PvP. It's a very good way of farming uh, loot drops, actually. Very good way. Wretch. Yes, you're right. Yes, Wretch is the name of the uh, the spear dudes. I want to patrol. Yeah, me too. Me too. Like, patrolling the entire planet would be cool. Where are these guys? Now I'm the one rushing ahead. Is this guy still playing or what? What's up, harpies? Are they just chilling? These guys just... Oh, they woke up. Hi. Oh, the boss dude spawns here. Probably not the best idea. Can you see all the way down to the final area? Oh, you can't. It's all cloudy. Cool. How dare you? I swear this failsafe AI sounds very different at times. 
DPS. Honestly, something else I only just realized is that this probably is a low impact sniper. Because it has got a very fast fire rate. And earlier on when I headshotted the Arc Strider, I actually got a really good shot. Um, managed to headshot an Arc Strider while he's mid soup, and he was like spinning and twirling, doing all kinds of crazy stuff. And I managed to just hit him right in the dome, but it didn't kill him. And he was already weak. He was weak. I headshotted him and still didn't kill him. And that's a body him again. But I was confused by that. But yeah, probably it's because of the low impact sniper. Um, you can fire it kind of fast. And there is a seven seven round magazine. So it does make, uh, does make a bit of sense. Is he gone now? Yep, he's gone. You're going to be on vacation during the open beta. Oh, that sucks. Dawnblade to Daybreak Opinion Go. Uh, I haven't I haven't played it since events. I haven't played it on the beta yet. I want to do. I think I'll do it during the stream. I think I'll make a warlock and uh, do some do some daybreak action. Also the void walker. I really want to do the void walker. And we'll get the risk runner exotic too. So we'll go do that. We'll get the warlock, Dawnblade, uh, the void walker, and risk runner. Yeah, I like this. I feel like this is probably the best. I mean, there's only 20 weapons in this build, so there's really not much choice. I think this is definitely the best. The other pulse rifle is the, I think, Nightshade is called. But it's, it's not that great. A um, lot of recoil, not much range. This thing is definitely the better pulse rifle. Um, this is definitely the best scout rifle by a mile. Let's pop some of this. What up? What up? And I think the better Devil's hand cannon is probably the best hand cannon. I don't know how many primary hand cannons there are. I know there's a secondary one, which is decent. It's I think it's, it feels like a more slow rate of fire, high impact one. Cheers from Brazil. What's up? Comment where you guys are watching from. What countries are you guys from? America, UK. I want to know. I'm interested. Another drop. I think you hurt the mind. Don't let up. How did I get that sniper? Uh, it was already here. It's already on the hunter. I'm pretty sure all hunters come with this sniper. The Titan has the grenade launcher and shotgun. Um, the hunter has the sniper and the grenade launcher. I think grenade launcher. Um, yeah, I think so. I don't know what the warlock has. Right, let's do some DPS into this dude's face while he still has a face. Before it disappears and falls off. Too so much damage to him, he, his head comes off. Stop moving, I can't hit you when you're moving. I'm seeing a lot of a lot of wild countries right now. New Zealand, Antarctica, Kazakhstan, Minnesota. My knowledge of America is, is is not that great. I don't know where Minnesota is. I know it's somewhere like north, it's like near Canada, I think. I don't know if Minnesota is a state or a city. I think it's a state. I think maybe. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> My knowledge of America is very limited to the to the states I've been to. Oh, I'm last alive. He's probably going to kill me now, isn't he? Please don't kill me. Oh, these harpies are lasering me now. Chill. Chill. Ah. Thank you. Nice. If you do the um, this Arc Strider melee is based on Stormfist. It causes um, health regeneration. Get away from me, bruh. Is he dead yet? There you go. We got him. And now for the loot drop. The double loot drop. Get a sweet little chest here. 
What am I gonna get? Oh, the black scorpion and some boots. We did it. We did it. We got a five dollars from IK Rayons. I crayons. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Just want to say you and more console inspired me to start my YouTube channel. Keep up the good work, man. I really appreciate that. And I know more console appreciate this appreciates that too. Um yeah, we just love making videos and we're glad that you enjoy enjoy watching them. And we appreciate your support. Whether it's just watching a video or um liking a video, sharing it, even just checking back every day to see videos. We really, really appreciate that. And um and especially especially if you want to be as generous and Donating five dollars, that's even more appreciated. So thank you very much. I'm glad you enjoy our videos. And I'm sure more console is as as grateful too. Is it really early early in the morning where you live? No, it's actually 1 a.m. But I'm a YouTuber, so sleep schedules don't really exist to me, to be honest. Um Yeah, I thought I'd do a, a second stream. My first stream was like from 6 p.m. till like 9. Um and now this stream is a little bit later. It should be around, because the majority of my audience is in the uh, US. So I wanted to um, just do a second one, just mainly because the first one was too much fun. And um, also because most of you Americans are going to be like getting back from work and school and able to watch videos and hang out and play the beta. So I want to hang out with you guys as well. So yeah. Uh, I'm playing as a hunter right now, the Ark Strider. Yeah, the ghost doesn't seem to like failsafe right now. What do you think is the best class su slash subclass? Um, honestly, well, this is just my completely ill-informed opinion of having played only a couple of hours and having only played about half the subclasses. But my initial impression is the Warlock Voidwalker, I don't know if it seems that great to you. The super seems okay. But I'm not sure. I feel like the second cluster may be the better cluster. But you can't have that cluster. The top one where the Nova Bomb travels super slow. So I'm not too sure about that one. Uh, the Dawnblade seems okay. I don't think the perk's that great. The Striker seems, the Striker seems pretty good. Sentinel's very good. The Arc Strider's quite good. Soup can be a bit weird, but when it works, the Arc Strider can be very good. And Gunslingers, I don't think the Soup is too... Like, again, the, guns, the thing with the Gunslinger is that... We're locked to this column, and this column, Golden Gun can be fired quickly up to six times. So with this, like you fire it so quickly, it gives you such a short amount of time. It's almost like having one shot. And the the, the, the shots are really weak, so I'm not really a fan of that top cluster. I think the bottom cluster of Gunsling is going to be very good, but it's not available in the beta. So, yeah. But I think Arc Strider, Sentinel, and Striker right now, I think those are the top three. In my personal opinion, like I said, I haven't even played Warlock, so that's just my initial impressions. Um, but yeah. Have I encountered any red bars or bad connection? Uh, not until one game I played... Hello? Well, okay. I just... Uh... Hello? Hello, teammates, teammates, and we got, what was that, Bucky Budlove with the $5, is the Awoken female the default, or can you make a male character? I don't know, honestly, it seems like, what's up, it seems like, um, was everyone just invisible for a second, what's happened? Speaking of red bars, um, to answer the question, I don't think, I'm hearing a lot of people saying that uh, female seems to be default, although I'm pretty sure, I looked at, um, more consoles Titan, I'm pretty sure he was a male, he was very big and bulky looking. Uh, my Hunter's a male, a uh, female, and my Titan is also a female, but apparently a lot of them are Awoken, but I don't know if you can tell, maybe in the menu it shows Awoken, but, um, you can't make, you, you can't pick your male or female, you can't do any customization, so it's kind of luck, uh, luck of the draw, um, but yeah. Obviously, in the full game, you can completely customize everything you want. But right now, it seems to be just randomly generated. That was very nice. Yo, this pulse rifle, though. Uh, right now, it seems to be randomly generated. Um, but yeah. They also don't let you... You can't take your mask off, so you can't even see your face. Like, in the option, I'll show you in a second. But 
if you go to the menus and try to set it to take off your mask in social spaces, you physically can't select the option. But you can't even go to social space if you wanted to, so not that it matters, apart from the farm, which will be available for one hour on the last day of the beta. But, um... Yeah, like if I go to settings, helmet off, I'm clicking the button, but nothing happens. You can't, physically can't select it. So yeah, that's a, that's the thing. Why is the shotgun heavy? And what is your favorite of the new planets? Um, the shotgun is heavy because all one-shot weapons are now power weapons, heavy weapons. Um, they're a little bit more powerful, but now they're all heavy weapons as well. And... Yeah, base, base, it's basically for Crucible, essentially, to answer your question. They did it for Crucible balance so that there aren't people running. Because special weapons, as you know, in Destiny 1, special weapons were so hard to balance. Like, they didn't really know what to do. It was, it, like, there was, I feel like there wasn't even one correct answer of how to balance them. Um, so I feel like now they just literally move them into power weapons. And what is my favorite planet? I would say probably Nessus. I think Nessus is my favorite planet. I love the Vex design and kind of architecture. Plus, like, this is Nessus one right now. Uh, the green sky, the red, the red plants, like the it's just cool. It's like a mix between Earth and Vex stuff because this is a Vex planetoid. I don't know what a planetoid is. I'm not, a, I'm not a um, astronomer, so I don't know what a planetoid is. I think it's like some kind of small mini planet that like has kind of orbits the sun but doesn't and appears at rare occasions. I don't know what. I, I'm not a. Uh, I don't know all, all that stuff about <laughs> space and science, but. Um, yeah, this is... I think Ness is probably my favorite. Io looks very cool too. Uh, European Dead Zone. I think the Cosmodrome Earth was my favorite in Destiny 1. So I'm going to quite enjoy the European Dead Zone. It's got that forest and stuff. Um, what's the other one? Titan. Titan, I don't think... I th Titan is going to be the hive. Um, Titan's very dark. The majority of it is inside abandoned like facilities. And there's underground caves. And there's like... The Hive have some kind of massive underground layer underneath the oceans of Titan. Shh, nah, I tried to shade set that. I'm trying to shade set that, but I couldn't. So Titan, I don't think... Titan's going to be a bit similar to Dreadnought. It's going to be Hive everywhere. Titan's where you're going to find all the Hive. There's underground caves. It's going to be dark and gloomy. And I mean, if, 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 you, if you kind of like that vibe, it's going to be very cool. But um, that's what Titan's about. I think it's going to be cool. Like I'm looking forward to seeing the Hive in Destiny 2. We've seen like seconds of clips of the hive so i'm looking forward to seeing the hive um but yeah what modes are available this mode which is control on this map there's control on this map only or there is countdown on midtown which is the cruise map you saw before which is search and destroy like attack and defend cs go plant and defuse the bombs that mode that's on midtown so two modes two maps Midtown, you get countdown, and this map called Endless Veil, you get control. Basically. Three minutes. Who's over here? The thing, I'm noticing, the thing I'm noticing about Crucible, it's very team shot heavy. As I say that, I'm getting team shot. Like I said, everyone seems to stick together very well. I feel like you do need a team. Uh, these guys are mostly in a clan anyway. Um, so Crucible and Destiny 2 seems very team shot heavy like everywhere you go you see someone and there's like th all three of his teammates always next to them it's very hard to get people by themselves and have one-on-one -on -one gunfights um it's kind of weird like normally where there's one there's a lot so it's interesting you don't find many stragglers unless you find like solo people but the majority i guess a lot of people are teaming up right now in this beta so you get a lot of people play together so, word of advice, stick to your teammates. If you see it, like, this guy's just going ham. <laughs> Good job. Um, stick to your teammates and try and team shot, because team shotting is one of the best and most efficient ways to drop people. Okay, nice. You're taking the lead. Good stuff. Good stuff, team. What energy weapon is this? This is the Omelon Pulse Rifle. Um... Guy doing. No, I shouldn't have switched to this weapon. Nah, yeah, that's what I mean. There's like two of them. Ah, there's all three of them. Never mind. Um, this is the pulse rifle. It's void. It's cool. I like it. It is cool. That guy's got a shotgun. I can see the flashlight on, him, on the end of his weapon. If you see someone at the end of someone's weapon glowing like a flashlight, it's because they've got power ammo. 
what is that? That's a Narc Staff. Oh boy, now we're submerged. I'm gonna leave. There's an Arc Blade, right? Not an Arc Blade, an Arc Strider right behind me. One minute, a well fought victory. I got some gauntlets. Sick. I think with the strike, I could be wrong on this, but I think your two loot drops, one of them is a weapon and one of them is an armor piece. So that may be a more guaranteed way of getting a weapon. Well, I guess it's like, it's kind of like playing Crucible and then, it's kind of like playing two Crucible games, but one of them is guaranteed to be a weapon. So it's interesting. It's interesting how the loot drops acquire, uh, work. How you acquire that gun, uh, I got it as a loot drop. I assume this is on the Warlock because it's not on the Hunter. This doesn't spawn naturally on the Hunter and it doesn't spawn on the Titan. So I would assume you get this on the Warlock. Maybe not, but I, I'm pretty sure there's about 20 weapons in the Destiny 2 beta. And they're split across all three characters. So, can any of you guys let me know? Does um, do you, does this weapon spawn the warlock? Any of you warlocks out there, call in the warlocks. Um, does this weapon get given to you if you start a warlock character? I guess we can find out in a minute when I start a warlock. But I know. Did I have my super? I should have used it. Uh, I think this one. This weapon comes with the hunter. This weapon and this weapon. This one's identical. Um, the sun shot, you get given at the end of the mission. So, yes. I probably should have used my super. No air conditioners in the UK? That is correct. Air conditioning. Because, like, it's only hot enough in the UK to warrant an air conditioner for about, like, one month out of the year. So no one has air conditioning. It's just not a normal thing. We have heaters because it gets really cold for, like, four or five months of the, of, of the year. Um, so yeah, this pulse rifle does spawn on uh, the warlock. A lot of you saying yes. Okay, so yeah, this this weapon spawns the warlock. But if you're on a titan or a hunter, you need to just farm the game, grind it, and get it as a loot drop, basically. Um, but yeah, destiny is my city. <laughs> um, but yeah, air conditioners are not a normal thing because we only would need them for a month, so no one really has them, and they're very expensive and kind of complicated setup. So kind of understandable why. People don't design buildings with them in mind. Um, so I just bought a portable air conditioning unit. It's like a big kind of unit that you have this like um, exhaust hose that you put out a window and it just blasts out hot air and it cools the room. It's really, really good, but it's very loud and I have to have the window open. So I can't have it on during the stream. Um, but I just blast it in between to just cool down the room. So it does a pretty good job. Right, so I think I'm going to... Uh, Probably play a couple more Crucible and then make a Warlock. And any of you guys that haven't seen the uh, the campaign mission can can enjoy that as well. How long has this been on the stream? Well, my stream has been on for like less than an hour. The beta has been on for seven hours. Just over seven hours. Is there any three of us? Time to fight, guardians. Capture all zones. Yeah, it's funny that person asked... Um, it's funny the person asked uh, about lag in Red Bar. <laughs> the second they asked, I um, my teammates disappeared, <laughs> and I was in a game by myself. But to answer the question, I um, I hadn't really. So you need to help teammates out. Like if they're in a gunfight, you need to just jump in and help out. And I'm probably gonna enter this gunfight alone. There's two of them. Yep, that's what I mean. No one travels alone in this game. You need to you need to have a squad. See what I mean? There's two of them. And they're surrounding me. Yeah, that's what I mean. You need to, you need to stick together. Kind of doesn't help that I'm playing solo. Um, but yeah, I faced literally one Warlock who was... It was like Destiny 1. Like, it was very frustrating, if I'm honest. Uh, he was just teleporting around. Impossible to kill, but he killed me fine. So I was a bit like, okay, that's cool. That's cool. I love... Well, that guy kind of teleported a bit. Why? See, like, the entire team. See what I mean? Like... One guy comes after you, and then the entire team like goes after you as well. So, will I play with Ali? A? Uh, I'm pretty sure he's in America right now. I'll probably will be later when he gets back. I'm not sure when he gets back actually. I think he misses most of me. I think he said he's at an event. But um, yeah, I want to play with a lot of friends. I want to get. I want to just hop on um, Friday future streams and just grab other YouTubers, streamers, and just party up and and play. I'm looking forward to it. It's just so cool seeing like everyone online, everyone enjoying the beta, everyone finding stuff. 
Please die. Please, thank you. I put way too many bullets into you to not die. And now I'm going to die. Cool. That happened. What do you guys think of SMGs in this game? I feel like SMGs are not that great, to be honest. I was kind of skeptical of them in the first place. Like the, 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 the most important question was, okay, what's the difference between an SMG and an auto rifle? Why should I use an SMG over an auto rifle? Oh, please get out of my face. But that question isn't really answered right now because the thing with the Risk Runner Exotic, the problem I have with the Risk Runner is that I think SMGs, and I could be off base with this, but my from my impression of what I've seen and played the game, which is quite a bit, SMGs seem like they will be useful in the PvP, in the Crucible. Kind of like a sidearm, but fully auto. Um, so this guy's kind of lagging around a bit, that hunter. Some of the part of the match. One of the enemies. Is that the hunter that just left? No, he wasn't. Okay, this guy's just... But uh, yeah, SMGs are basically for PvP. That's the only place I can see them being useful because they're kind of like a sidearm. Run out of ammo, pull it out, and just finish them off. Um, but the Risk Runner has PvE perks about taking arc damage and like... So I, I, I'm just confused why a PvP weapon has PvE perks. It seems like definitely the weakest of the three exotics. So I feel like, honestly, I feel like Risk Runner needs a bit of a, a bit of an overhaul when it comes to perks. That sweet business I just got killed by. That I mean that's decent. Like his niche is kind of unique. If you know how to play it, it can be good. But I think Risk Runner needs a bit of a bit of a bit of bit of squeaking to be honest. Because I don't I don't understand why. I, just can't, I can't really imagine anyone using... Uh, maybe, maybe it has some kind of use. Maybe I'm wrong. But maybe there's some weird scenario where someone shoots a lot of arc burn at you and it'll be good. Also, see that mantle? I think it's got a cooldown on it. But um, maybe it has some use, but I just can't really imagine using an SMG in, in the PvP, PvE. Like, I don't know. I'd rather use an auto rifle. So hopefully Bungie kind of give us a reason. Too. But like I said, this just there's only a couple of SMGs playable, so we can't really judge the game. I'm not judging them fully, but I'm judging them slightly. I think they're a bit. Mm, I want to see some justification of why they're kind of useful, besides just the fastest rate of fire auto rifle, to be honest. Because at least those are better range. But we'll see. We shall see. I'm gonna get it. Does this hurt me if I stand in it? No, it doesn't. So any warlock rifts, you can stand in them, and they're fine. You can't shoot them. Um. Yeah, we're gonna get the we're gonna get the uh, what is that? We're gonna get the um, risk runner, and we're gonna we're gonna try it out. Super, do I have a super? Nearly. That's something as well. Super energy, grenade energy, all of it charges very slowly compared to Destiny One, which I kind of like, honestly. Like, if you have asked some things that I wanted to see in Destiny One, I think just the magic was a bit too much. Too many grenades, too many melees, too many supers. I think we just need to tone it down a little bit. I probably shouldn't have popped this while I was weak. What was he hope what was he planning to do from that situation? Was he thinking he would survive? I think they just popped the yeah, they just popped half star arc staff. Is he chasing me? Nope. Yeah, Arc Staff is weird. It's weird. I feel like if all the enemies are close, it's really good at taking out multiple enemies. Because it does... It seems to hit multiple enemies at once. That's the thing. It doesn't have one target like Blade Dance. It hits multiple enemies. It's time to stop jumping, please. Is that a Dawn Blade? That's cool. This is fine. Got him. And there's three of them. So that's what I mean. Like, just getting... Like... Probably 90% of my death is me just being team shot by multiple people. So you have to stick together. You have to stick together and grab some teammates. Also, let's try and get to a thousand like ratings. We had, uh, I think we had like 3,000 in the last video. You guys are insane. You guys showed a ton of support in the last video. So if you want to leave a like on the video, that would be awesome. Would be much appreciated to see how many you can get. I think there's two, two and a half thousand of you again. You guys are, it's so cool to see so many of you coming out and Hanging out in the live stream. What did we get there? We got an auto rifle, didn't we? So this is basically the same as this one. So yeah. The point of loot drops is to get weapons you don't have on that character. I don't think there are exclusive weapons that drop just out of nowhere. The armor pieces, yes. 
because the armor pieces um, you can only get from loot drops, and you yeah, they're kind of unique. So basically, so what do we have? We have the took offense. Okay, so we have two pieces from this armor set, which kind of like the this is like the kind of it looks a lot like the hunter vanguard set. Um, there's this red set. Look at his feet. They're like little cat paws. <laughs> Look at his little feet. He's got gaps. They're like they're like cat paws. <laughs> He's got two of those. Um, oh, I should have a cloak as well. What is this from? Binary Phoenix. I don't know what set this cloak is from. But yeah, check that out. Kind of matches. It may be from the same set. It's got a different name. Binary Phoenix and the Sword Flight. Okay. A clan called Peasant Guard. Yes, that is my clan. We are peasants. It's exactly, it's exactly how it looks. <laughs> Basically. You wish the supers were a little bit faster. Um, I don't know. I think I need to play like, I need to play a good couple days. I think I will need to just grind this base for a week and then I'll be able to tell if I like the... Uh, if I like the cooldowns, but it seems I like the idea of getting one super per, per game. I like that idea. Big fan of the idea, to be honest. Control. Take those zones and hold them to your last breath. Hold them to your last breath. How cool is it seeing Shax in the um, in the campaign as well? Shax is probably my favorite character in the game. A lot of people love Cade. Um, who else do people like? Not many others, just Cade. Maybe Eris. I love Shax. Like, Shax is just so funny and the stuff he comes out with. Like, I cannot wait to do a mission where you're fighting alongside. And, like, imagine the stuff he's going to... Imagine him, like, yelling seventh column in your face while you're punching a bunch of dregs. How cool is that going to be? <laughs> Shax is Shax is the best. Damn. What's he using? Better Devils. Yeah, Better Devils. Better, better Devils is basically the best hand cannon. Not there's much of choice. I think there's I'm pretty sure there's only one kinetic primary hand cannon. And there's one secondary energy one. Yep, the team shots are real. I need to follow my own advice and stick to my team. Enemy captured zone B. Right, what are we doing, team? Let's make up our mind. There's one. See, as I said, defeated. That's because I got an assist. So it kind of looks like I got a kill, but I didn't actually. <laughs> it's giving me pity points. Participation trophies. I helped. But it's a good point. I mean, team, team shotting is important. Like, I did help. As much as it is kind of a participation trophy, it is important because it encourages people to actually team shot and just put some extra bullets in, really, which is very important. Because people need to team shot more in Destiny. And speaking of which, I actually team shot. Because um, it is, like, it's just easy, the best way to, to take people down. I hate the Pulse Rifle because it's recall. To be honest, the other one's worse. <laughs> and it's got way less range. And it's a lot more of a pea shooter. So this is honestly, yeah, this is definitely the best Pulse Rifle in the game, by far. 10 out of 10 would recommend. And he's gone. And the other... Did you guys see that? One guy... It's like they rehearse it. One guy pops out. I get him I get him weak. And then he just vanishes. And then two guys just come out of nowhere and just, like, destroy me. That is what I'm talking about. The bait and switch team shotting. It's like they rehearsed it. Yeah, we need to... We need to... I need some help. Can't take these guys. I know he's gone. Oh no, I got him. I got him kind of around the corner. That was a. Uh... Nice. That's following me to that. I'm trying to figure out if shade stepping gets rid of the skip grenade. I'm pretty sure it does. Well, it didn't go for me, but I'm not sure if it was going to go for me anyway. But it seems like it kind of does. 
Also, these Titan Shields are kind of OP, I'm not going to lie. In, in control, well, in, in Crucible in general, even in the... You know, this guy's going to hide behind a corner, and another teammate's probably going to come out. Is he regen already, or is he just... Nice. He took the heavy ammo. Oh, this is a second. There he is. There he is. See what I mean? Every time you get someone weak, there's, like, someone else waiting. <laughs> these guns look like they do no damage. Um, it may be my bad aim. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, they, they, they do have a lot of recoil. But it's... We don't have any perks on them, like, I can't put stability mods, like, we have no control. So, it's very... It's very hard to judge the full game. Obviously, in the full game, we're gonna get our god roll weapons. We're, well, not god rolls, but, like, kind of, kind of god rolls, because we can have... I think one perk is random, the intrinsic perk, but most of them are gonna be fixed. So, once we get some weapon mods for, like, stability and intrinsic perk for stability and, like, good range, we'll, we'll be able to fine-tune. Obviously, there'll be hundreds and thousands of weapons, so... We'll be able to get good ones. But this is just like a snapshot. Like, imagine if I gave you a bunch of random Vanguard weapons. You'd probably think they're garbage. This is what we're doing right now in Destiny 1. Well, in Destiny 2. So, yeah, the weapons aren't that great. But I kind of like it. Because everyone's in the same boat. We've all got the same guns. Oh, there's two of them. Ah, this is a mistake. This was a bad idea. This was a bad... You know what I really want? I want Bones of Ao. That's what I want. What I want in my life right now is Bones of Ao. Can we please have Bones of Ao? Can we have it as an intrinsic perk, please, Bungie? I think they'll put Bones of Ao in Destiny 2. I don't know about you guys, but I think they will. I think Bungie have the stats and can probably see that like 99% of hunters always use the Bones of Ao all the time. They'll probably see that and think, we should do something about this. Because I don't want to have to waste an exotic to jump how I technically should be able to jump as a hunter. Because hunter should have good, good uh, mobility. So I think Bonji will see that and maybe, hopefully, <laughs> please, um, kind of make it a bit more intrinsic. Yeah, this scout rifle is a beast at long range. I love it. Where's the other warlock? I've seen you. That's an arc blade. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> I think he's left me now. A one-on-one -on -one gunfight? What is that? What is this madness? This is Sparta. No, don't damn shot me! No. I wish there was a perk that um, regenerated your health as you get kills. I'm not sure if there might be with the other tree. I don't know, is there? To get health back when you kill someone? Um, I don't think so. But it's kind of like, um, is a Hungering Blade for the Hunter? For the bl uh, Blade Dancer in Destiny 1. And he's gone. He's gone. And he's gone. Zone A lost. Zone C lost. There's no point of grinding for a different gun. Uh, there definitely is, because like I said, each... That's a gone gun. Ooh. Each class spawns with, like, there are 20 weapons in the beta, and they're split across all three of the classes. So the hunter, for example, doesn't come with this pulse rifle, and doesn't come with this. You have to grind for them. You have to farm strikes, crucible, because it doesn't cut. That was really laggy. That seemed like my game froze the second I was about to get the kill. Um, so there is a bit of farming to get the weapons you want, basically. The hunter does come with a sniper, which is good. But to get the other weapons, you need to you need to grind for it. Which is a bit of a grind. Is the entire team through here? I think there are. When is the entire team not somewhere, to be honest? TBH. TBH. When am I not getting annihilated by the entire enemy team? Oh, I've got a helmet. Cool. What does this do? Cool. So now we're like nearly done with the red set. That's pretty cool. I should probably use the uh, hand cannon, to be honest, as a primary. I think one of my favorite loadouts is the hand cannon and um, hand cannon and this pulse. I think that's probably the best loadout. Like normally it'd be kind of hard to say this kind of stuff, like you can't say the best weapon, but there's only 20, so it's not hard. These two are basically two of the best weapons for Crucible. For PvE, probably not. It'll be this one and 
Maybe this one. Is there a secondary scout rifle? Well, there actually, no, there isn't. This is the secondary scout rifle, and it's kind of garbage because it's very fast rate of fire. Like, if we compare these two, no, we can't, can we? We can't compare these two. But if you look at the stats on this one, look at the impact and range. And then look at the impact on that one. This is this is a very slow rate of fire, high impact. This one is a very fast rate of fire, low impact. So it's actually got... Yeah, rounds per minute, 260, 150. 13 mag, 14, full auto. Is there stuff to change? What can we change about this? So I guess slightly increases stability. Great increases recoil. Increase... What does this do? It takes away from range. We may actually try that out. May give that a shot. We've already messed up. There are actually some perks. There's some weapons which I haven't even messed around with their perks yet. Um, range? Don't really want range. Nobody cares about range. Well, who knows? Maybe an SC2 range does matter. Also, uh, on elemental weapons, they have elemental mods. So we don't know, but it's safe to assume that you can just plug, you get a solar mod for maybe. Like, I don't know if you have to get mods for specific weapons or like you just get a. Solar mod in general, and you can put it on this. I don't, like, we have no idea how mods are going to work, but yeah, arc damage mod. I guess you can change the element of weapons. I think that's probably a thing. That is probably a thing. But yeah, I mean, it's been pretty. Uh, it's been pretty lag free, to be honest. Luckily, for the most part. Watch, I say that, and now I just. <laughs> whole team of red bars, but um, you can't see red bars because there are no bars. Control. So that's the thing. Capture and defend, guardians. Uh, yeah, so that's the logic right there. Can't complain about red bars if there are no bars. <laughs> so you can't tell someone's red bar. Let's try this up now. Yeah, it's, yeah, I'm still not a fan of it. Still not really. Let's change. I probably shouldn't do this here. Now nah, I'm gonna die. I'm trying to switch my weapons. Leave me alone. This is fine. Enemy captured zone B. This is fine. Let me switch my weapons. I want this thing and I want this thing. Zone a lost. You've lost them all. I think we're gonna go play on the warlock in a bit. How does that sound? Bit a bit of warlock action. I think you warlocks are feeling a bit neglected. Will there be some surprises when the beta is out for both consoles? Um, possibly. I mean, it's Bungie. I, I wouldn't put it past them. I think some surprises would be... Yeah. I think, if anything, the last day, there might be surprises. They may extend the beta. Um, people saying, like, will they open up a lost sector or something? I kind of doubt that, because to do that, you'd have to open up patrol. And obviously, they're not going to do that. Help me, teammate. Distract. No. Didn't work. Um... So, yeah, I don't know how, because, like, you can't open a lost sector up in a strike. Like, you, the whole point of the, the strike is to do the strike, nothing else. So, they're not going to let you do a lost sector in it. So, I'm not sure, and they're definitely not going to open up patrol. Uh, uh, open up patrol. So, I'm not sure what the deal is with that, to be honest. This guy's a shotgun. Oh, he's a fusion rifle. Damn. Damn. Yeah, he got power ammo. Fusion rifle is now a power weapon, if you didn't know. The main ingredient... I'm pretty sure Warlocks uh, come naturally with fusion rifles. And maybe rocket launchers, I'd assume. I want swords, man. I want swords. Where'd this guy go? Did he die? Did we trade? That was the weirdest trade ever. I love your channel. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. The last hour they'll open up the farm. That's correct. The last hour of this beta, the farm social space will be playable. Are we? We're losing by quite a bit. I feel like the Crucible's changed so much since when it first launched. I think a lot of people have got friends now. A lot of people found friends. Um, before launch, it was very like. Just random people. Um, not in fire teams, but now there's a lot of fire teams. I can tell just how coordinated they are. They're all like sticking together. Um, so, yeah. 
Word of advice. Stick to your team. I'm going to try and... Do we have... Yeah, it's 44. I don't know where the teammates are, though. Team shots. Make the dream work. There's a rhyme in there somewhere. And I'm going to bail, because there's two against one. Teammate, can you help me out? That's team shot. Okay, I've, I've baited him. He's after me. Punch. There you go. Wait, I didn't even get the kill. No! The guy down the range. What am I planning to main? Um, well, I'll give you two clues. It begins with a H. And it ends with an R. But yeah, I played. I played with the. I played with the hunter for the first like um, like two hours maybe, and then yeah, you guys in chat overwhelmingly wanted me to do a titan, so I did as requested. We did a sentinel. Let's do it. Let's try the striker. That's what I love. There's that was a strange kill. I kind of killed him around a wall. <laughs> um, I'm really gonna play the striker. It looks fun. I love the striker. Going to hop down. Oh, the whole team's down here. Ah, he's got a sentinel shield. Please, ah, oh, the shield. When you throw the shield, it tracks. It tracks. You've been sub to me since year two. Appreciate that. Back in the Taken King. That was basically when I started making Destiny videos. Year two is when I started. I've been playing since the start, since the alpha even. Um, playing since the alpha, but and then played all the way through year one. But then I, because seeing as I kept enjoying Destiny, I thought, yeah, I'm just going to... I enjoy this game so much, might as well post it on the channel. You're defeated. Fight again. We've got a cloak that we had. Sick. That was top notch right there. That was 10 out of 10. Right, should we do a warlock? A lot of you want me to do a warlock. But which class should we do? Should we do Dawnblade or Voidwalker? Let me know in chat. What should I do? Dawnblade or Voidwalker, you guys decide. Right, let's go to change character. Awoken female, hunter female, wait, human female. Okay, so I guess they are all female. But you can have a human, so they're not all awoken. That's really cool. With my mix and matched gear. Pretty cool main. Alright, let's make a second hunter, shall we? <laughs> uh, everyone wants me to avoid Walker. The chat has spoken. Let's record that gameplay just so I have it. If you tell me this is a practical joke, well, it kills me to say it, but I, I would be really impressed. Impressing you, Cade, is the easiest thing I'll do all day. Let's get serious, people. Zavala, this is my serious face. Can't you tell? Ikora, what have you got? Someone or something has sabotaged the Skyline defense systems. And comms have been spotty for the last few hours. Every sensor beyond the wall has gone dark. Hmm. Maybe it's just the storm. Maybe it's... What are the set feeds telling us? Nothing. Well, that's good, right? No. I mean, they're not there. There are no satellites. And that's not good. Battle stations!
Rest in peace the vaults. Rest in peace the tower. Rest in peace all those god rolls that you spent three years farming for. <laughs> They're all gone. Thank you, Gary. Shout out to Gary. What a nice guy. What a nice guy. What a nice guy. He is swell. There is a savage cutscene later on. It's actually really cool. Ghoul is angry. He is angry. He's not like he's not like one of those generic kind of enemies that's just angry for no reason and hates us. He is genuinely like he despises guardians. Some good some good character there. Warlock, let's go. Void Walker it is. The chat has spoken. Everything's gone. The tower, the city. Right, let's whack on. This is the nightshade. This is the other pulse rifle I talked about. And let's use a sidearm, because why not? And fusion rifle, because we haven't used it yet. Let's have a quick look at this. I haven't even seen this yet either. Hold, oh, draw power from this. Draw power from your super to overcharge your grenade. Make it deadlier and more effective. Okay, that's weird. Void ability kills, call damage explode. No more draws. Fire your weapon at the Nova Orm to detonate it early. Oh, so you can shoot it to make it blow up early. That's interesting. That's interesting. These are all very interesting. But the main thing is that the Nova Orm travels slowly. What's this one? Uh, fear down your health. Creates a singularity which damages enemies trapped inside. Is that Devour? No, what's Devour? Devour is that. Basic energy drain. Uh, so it's basically energy drain right there. Consume your grenade energy to regenerate your health. Wow. So you can take grenade energy to regenerate your health. That's crazy. That's cool. Wow. You learn something every day. There you go. Some pretty sick, pretty sick looking uh, character. All right, let's do this. This is the pulse rifle. It's, yeah, it's just very, I don't know. Fires very fast. It's got a bit of recoil. It's okay, though. I mean, the thing is still pretty good in Crucible, but it has really bad range. I noticed that. I remember in the the builds I've played, Giant Space Rhinos. Sidearms also are quite weak in this game. They are definitely not as good as they are in Destiny 1 right now. They are... Definitely nothing to worry about as it stands. You won't see anyone complain about them. Unless they uh, buff them. Bang, bang, bang. Didn't know the ace of spades could be turned into a golden gun. Where does he go? Oh, he just he just warps. All right, cool. There's Eris Morn's thing. weird. Does it do that? Yeah, it does. Okay. That's weird. Over here, My armory is open to you. Follow the path from there. It will lead this guy is so tall. Look how tall Shax is. I'll take care of these the Look how tall he is. He is a giant. He's like at least seven foot. Let's get this risk runner. Let's grab that le that legendary weapon. We get a risk runner. All right, let's rock with this. Here we go. Exotic risk runner submachine gun. Looking pretty fat. That's a really good looking weapon. It is a really good looking weapon. Let's see if the perks have changed. Uh, yep. Recoil handling speed, magazine size. Yeah. So let's see how this is. Let's um. Let's test out what I was saying earlier and see how it is in PvE, because like I said, it just I don't know. Doesn't seem doesn't seem that fantastic to me. It doesn't seem exotic. It seems quite odd. But we'll see. It's kinda of like a weak auto rifle that's got a lot of recoil and not a lot of range. But I guess, like I said, if enemies are firing arc damage at you, then it's gonna be decent because it's gonna chain energy, shoots faster, does more damage, has a bigger magazine. Chains lightning between them does a bunch of stuff, but it's kind of like, you know, I guess you need. I, I guess if you find fallen, then it'll be good. 
or during that one phase of the strike where he um, shoots a lot of damage at you. I need a solo weapon for this shield. To be honest, this one doesn't do too badly. Let's try and speed through this mission because we've already seen this twice today. But I need to kill these people first. I'm just going to use this a bit better. Insatiable. So that's one of the Warlock perks. So it seems like using a using an energy weapon, even if it's the wrong element, is way better than using a kinetic. So it doesn't like matching the element doesn't really matter. It's more about just using an energy weapon. Energy weapons are very good against enemies with shields and also supers and crucible. If you don't know that, definitely something worth knowing. If you see a super, then um, if you see a super, then use an energy weapon because they're very good. I got up here. This thing's hard to control. Always a bit of training energy. It's like a mini mini Zalo. What grenade do we have? I didn't even check. I think it's a vortex mode. I don't even know what they have. What's up, dudes? Are they not this I have either? Uh, healing rift. Is this the Warlock class ability? All Warlock subclasses have this. You stand in it and you get an overshield, get some more health. You regen a lot faster. You have to stand in it. And the other one is a um, bonus weapon damage. It's kind of like Weapons of Light. Oh, the Warlock float. <laughs> to be honest, the Warlock float is a lot better in this game. It's a lot better. It's a lot faster. That's what I noticed in the, uh, in the early builds anyway. It's probably the same here. It's a lot quicker. When did England become a city? Um, I don't know, actually. It's news to me, I don't know. I mean, I've lived here all my life, but apparently it's a city. The last word, yep. Rip the last word. The last word's in there. The last word is broken. But Ghoul doesn't want to let you have it. Oh, so Zavala's already generated some orbs. This is like actually a public space, so other people, like random blueberries, can be in there. Which is pretty funny. What nade is this? It's a Vortex nade. Okay. Let's put on... Let's put on... Axiom Bolt. Strafe. I'm getting shots. I thought I had a soup for a second. It's because your soup bar turns gold when it's like when you go out of a menu. I thought I had a super. Yeah, Void Walkers was definitely my favorite su uh, Warlock subclass in Destiny 1, by far. To be honest, all the Void subclasses were my favorite Destiny 1 subclasses. The Void Walker, the Night Stalker, and the that what was gonna do not bad it's kind of like a no one from destiny one but slower um uh, not bad it's like with all the subclass trees i feel like the bottom one is the cooler tree but they're locked so we can't play them it's kind of like a they're teasing us like with the really cool perk trees with a golden gun i really want to try the second option the second option is really cool I think the Golden Gun might actually be very good in PvE in Destiny 2, to be honest. We hold here. Rip Monte Carlo. Rip Galahorn. Rip Service Regime. What weapons are you guys most upset about losing and not carrying forward to Destiny 2? Drop a comment in the chat. Which weapon are you most upset about? If you could have one weapon, a weapon, exotic or legendary, if you could have one weapon going into Destiny 2, which one would it be? And which weapon Which weapon are you upset about that you can't bring into, uh, into this game? 
This pulse rifle is okay. I need to actually compare the stats to the other pulse rifle, the Omnom one. I have kill clip open, so that's interesting. I haven't even looked at the perks of this weapon, actually. I probably should. I can't like this. It's alright. This pulse rifle is decent. Monte Carlo, Thorn, Fatebringer, Hawk Moon, Genesis Chain, Kavostov, Red Death, Galahorn, Last Word. I've seen a lot of Last Word. Zalo, Necrochasm, Ice Luna. I feel like Last Word's probably. I'm just like floating into walls trying to read. Uh, I died. Uh, no Land Beyond, Ice Luna, Ace of Spades, Thorn, Telesto, Godroll, LDR, yep. I feel like Icebreaker and Last Word are some of the most popular ones. Longbow, Touch of Malice, Thorn, Last Word, First Curse, Sleeper. Honestly, I'm, I'm going to miss the Talalok. Talalok, I really, like, I really like that weapon. And it was really OP. <laughs> Maida. Palindrome, Vision. Yes, Vision of Confluence. Yes. Vision of Confluence. I missed that weapon. Matador. I need to try shooting the Nova Bomb to detonate it earlier. I need to try that. A lot of Zylo Supercell. I didn't know the Zylo Supercell had that much love. A lot of Icebreaker too. Vex. Yes, the Vex Myth Glass. I missed that weapon. And rip. I think that's the traditional Nova Bomb. I think what Akora just did is the normal uh, Nova Bomb. Yeah, a lot of Zalo. You guys really like the Zalo. That's surprising. I'm just not paying attention to what Akora is doing. <laughs> Seeing too many times. Lot Celesto. Bang. Incendior dude. Who is really mad for some reason. God roll distant star. The iron banner weapons. Where is this guy? Is he? Dude, are you having some spicy ramen right now? Look, my guy's just having some spicy ramen. <laughs> he's, he's, trying to, he's trying to loot some, loot some spicy ramen right now. <laughs> Where did he just go? What are you up to in here? What are you looking at? You trying to get some some spicy noodles? What does that say? There's a bunch of stuff on that screen. I bet there's some kind of Easter egg in there. The numbers. <laughs> I love how the incendiary just came in here. Like, oh, is there any spicy ramen available? <laughs> and I've just blown up your tower, but I want some food. Very nice. Bad juju. Dabby mo. I'm gonna die. Outbreak Prime. Yes, Outbreak Prime. If I was to give my top, my top Destiny one weapons, Outbreak Prime, exotic weapons, Outbreak Prime, hundred percent. Um, Telesto. Uh, Hawkmoon when it was good, but it hasn't been good in years, so <laughs> it's kind of hard to love that weapon because it's not so great anymore. The Hawkman back in the day. Oh, I've, I've watched back some gameplay. Maybe I'll show it on the stream sometime. But I've seen back gameplay of me using the uh, Hawkman in Destiny in Someone year one. It was, lie. oh man, that gun. That gun. It was so sticky. It was so good. Hung jury, yeah. Oh, Raze Lighter, that's a good one. Raze Lighter, Outbreak Prime, Sleeper Simulant. I love the Sleeper Simulant, but there are actually, there's basically, Sleeper Simulant is now a new weapon type in Destiny 2. It's called the Linear Fusion Rifle. Um, so it's actually a full on weapon type. There's Legendary, Blues, Greens, Exotic, well, maybe Exotics, but the Sleeper Simulant is now like a, a thing. It's basically Queen Breaker's bow. It's a fusion rifle, fires one bolt, one shot to the head. You gotta charge it up. It's a power weapon. Um, I don't know if it's in this beta, to be honest. Maybe it is. I'd, uh, well, it wasn't on any three characters, so I assume it isn't. 
I don't think it's in his beta. It's kind of strange. What's my heavy weapon? A fusion rifle. This is a normal fusion rifle. Also, if you want to leave a like on the video, that would also be much appreciated. Um, I think we had like 3,000 likes on the on the last on the last video. But um, let's try and let's try and get some like ratings up. See how many of you guys can get. There's you. And if you're asking about this stuff on the screen, the number next to my head is my sub count, my live sub count, and the obviously people that the names pop up if you subscribe to my channel. Um, so just the normal YouTube subscription. If you sub, um, then your name pops up on screen, and that's my live sub count. So you can see people subscribe and my sub count live change basically. All of you people joining, joining the channel. This is gonna do. Did a bit of damage. Did a little bit of damage. Yeah, if you shoot that guy's canister and he blows up. Can I shoot it now? Oh, I can. That's cool. That's pretty cool. That's actually, I like that. It's that little detail. It's a little detail. You know, you can kill a guy and then his canister falls off and it's an explosive barrel that you can shoot on the floor. That's really cool. I like that. Charge your grenades. How do I do that? Uh, what button is it? Oh, wait, is it? Can I do it here? Uh, hold R1 to draw from your super to overcharge your grenade, making it deadlier. And this one down here is hold your grenades to generate health. So, I have my super. I don't have my grenade, but can I? Is it hold L1? Uh, what button is it again? Uh, hold L1. So I need to have... Oh, no, yeah, draw some my... Is it doing it? I'm holding L1. Hold L1. Uh, hold L1 to draw power from your super to overcharge your grenade. I think your grenade has to be charged. Oh, wait, now. Oh, there you go. Whoa. Oh, but now I need to go throw it. Whoa, this is so cool. I'm probably going to waste it on one Scion. Whoa. Dude, that did like 700 damage. And it it like went out to keep on tracking more enemies. That is really cool. Did your super have to be full to do that? That's really cool. I like that. Big fan. Big fan. That's so cool. Like... I want to see more stuff like that. Seems like it might only be that one thing, but I guess it makes sense for the Warlocks, because Warlocks are all magical and fancy and they do that kind of stuff, so I guess it makes sense. That is really, really cool. Yeah, your grenade needs to be full to be able to do that and you overcharge it. So I guess each grenade has some kind of super-powered version. Like that Axiom Bolt that I have, it turned into a massive Axiom Bolt, and it, and it turned and it split into loads of smaller Axiom Bolts. And once they hit and killed enemies, they kept they then went to other enemies. So they are really, really powerful. That's cool. Okay, can I do it now? Oh, I can. So you don't even need a full super. Let's just do it all. And let's lob it at this boss's face. Let's wait until he gets to the floor first. I wonder what happens if my super... This actually goes really slowly. This is so cool. This doesn't feel like Destiny. This feels like some other game. Like, charging my nade. I think they've forgotten about me. They've forgotten about me. Alright, we're charging it. I don't know what happens when it gets to the end. We're going to find out. <laughs> we're charging up a spirit bomb right now. Is he going to lob it? Didn't do that much damage, to be honest. Maybe I should have lobbed it on the floor and it went to other enemies. That was okay, though. It takes a long time to fully charge it. That's really cool, though. I like that. Oh, no. Don't kill me. I should pop this. I like that. 
Big fan. Let's use this thing. Okay, just get in the way. Yeah, the power weapons in this game are so powerful. Like, the shotguns absolutely melt. The shotguns melt. The sniper's pretty, like, it's pretty much like a sniper. There's nothing too different. Do I really die from one legendary? Uh, the sniper's pretty good. Um, the, yeah, the shotgun's very good. The fusion rifle's quite decent, too. And it seems like a low-impact version, but it still did a lot of damage to him, so... Seems like power weapons are actually quite worth it. Audio is out of sync for my microphone. Let's figure that out. The shield generator should be straight ahead. Uh, can I go through? Yeah, I can. I'm going to try and speed through this mission and then figure out what's going on with my mic. And hopefully not die. Oh, there's a guy, there's a guy behind me. Rip. Do a bit of charging. Charge up a big spirit bomb right now. It's so weird doing this. Just lob it right there. Wow, that's pretty cool. So it basically kills like lots of enemies. Kurth. What a boring name. Kurth. My name's Kurth. All right, fusion generator time. It's been always fun. People saying nothing's wrong with the mic. Uh, I'll give a listen back. Um, not laggy at all. Gameplay audio is the gameplay audio I've seen. Like, um, let me listen to that back. Get rid of that one. This is the awkward part. Yeah, the audio seems fine to me. Seems good. But I will take a look at it. Um, Alright, so we need to jump up after this thing goes. Oh, I've got the warlock jump. Oh, this thing's so slow. Please don't kill me. Wait for that thing to go. Kill this thing. It's working. So what we're doing now is destroying the generator, the shield generator of this ship. Of ghoul ship. Big Gary boy. Wait for that thing to go and jump down. I thought I was going to stand with the generator for a second there. And boom, we did it. We done broke it. Zavala, we did it. The shields are down. Zavala? It is 2 a.m. from Europe for me right now. I'm in London. But it's pretty normal for me. Plus, you know, it's a Destiny Beta. What else would I be doing? Amanda, we're headed topside. Amanda. Yeah, Gary's mad. Anyone? <laughs> Poor ghosts. I'll play the little the, the little beginning of this uh, cutscene, but we'll watch, we'll watch the. Oh, How do we come back from this? You don't. Welcome to a world without light. Guardian, something's wrong. Do not look at me, creature. You are weak, undisciplined. <laughs> I love that. 
Do not look at me, creature. Yo, where, oh, I was just there for a second again. Do not look at me, creature. Gaul is mad. He is angry about it. Gaul is a savage. Do not look at me, creature. Like, damn. Let's give the... Should we do Crucible or a Strike? Let me know, chat. What do you think? Bit of Crucible with the Void Walker. We could also try the Dawnblade, but I think the Void Walker's. Uh... When I do the strike, I do any. Uh, I do want to try shooting. How an explosive bolt void energy. Okay, I do want to try the. Um... Wait, no, is it on the bomb thing? Or is it this one? Yeah, fire weapon at the Nova bomb to detonate it early. That's pretty cool. Savage Ghoul. <laughs> um, you guys want to see a strike, seems like. Mostly saying strike. Okay, let's do a strike. We'll do a strike and then it's Crucible. Sounds good. Let's load up some strike action. Will there be mayhem in Destiny 2? I have no idea. Um, I wouldn't be surprised. I think it's likely. I wouldn't be surprised either way. I wouldn't be surprised if they have it, and I wouldn't be surprised if they don't, because it kind of... Crucible's supposed to be very hyper-competitive now, and it's very balanced, and the whole point is not everyone having crazy supers. Um, although Destiny 1, compared to this, looks like mayhem. But I don't think there'll be mayhem. Actually, well, I, I don't know, to be honest. I, I think it could go either way. I wouldn't be surprised if there is mayhem. I wouldn't be surprised if there isn't. But I do hope there is some kind of fun game mode. I just want... Honestly, I think there really needs to be Rumble and 6v6. I am surprised there isn't. I'm kind of disappointed there isn't at least 6v6. Because when you're done, when you're done your raid, you've got six people in your fire team, and you want to go to the Crucible, you have to split up. I feel like there should be one 6v6 mode, but I can understand... Why they might not want to do that, because if there was... Hey, the Fauna here. If there was a 6v6 mode, then everyone would probably play it. So, maybe that's why they don't want to do it. I don't know. But I really want 6v6, and also really want Rumble. Maybe to make videos as well. Like, making making live videos for you guys is, is so much easier than Rumble. It's just me, no one else, no teammates. These guys are strong. I've literally just joined at the very end of the event. These guys have so much health. I think this is one of these silent events. These guys have so much health, dude. I probably should have charged my nade. That's such a cool ability. I honestly really like that. Get this guy. Captain, there's a bunch of heavy ammo. I want to grab this. Yo, look at the shank. It's all like chrome. It's a chrome shank. Out my face. What's this guy called? Honored Legionary. I'm getting out of here. Whoa, there's a lot of dudes. Pop it. Yeah, this is basically, if you're wondering what this is, this is almost like a, the enemies moving against each other. Um, a bunch of these dudes just, they keep on coming out of ships and they get stronger and stronger. So these guys have quite a bit of health. Uh, I should probably use this thing on it. Yeah, they, these guys hit really hard. Look at that captain. And look at this guy on me. Yeah, oh, so that's what they are. They're like, those are the, what were they called again? Um, marauders. So marauders are another new type of fallen. They're like, they've got like spikes as this, as their third and fourth arms. And they run like spiders. They literally like crawl on the floor and they go invisible. Like these guys. Let's try and get a close to one. Where have they gone? Where's the Marauder? Where's the invisible guy gone? Oh, he's right here. 
Where'd he go? Where are these marauders going? Oh, there's one. Is it? Yeah, look, here's a marauder. He's all weird looking. He's got like blades for, for his second arms. And they run like spiders. It's pretty cool. Alright, this event will probably end in a second, and then we'll go and do the actual strike. Like we're supposed to. You know what I'm like. Resilient captain. So it's like a yellow bar. This is like a major captain right now. Oh, that sound is loud. Um, water, cool, full. Do you think the bungees learn from, their learn from their mistakes, i.e. no story in the game being boring too grindy? I think, honestly, 100%. 100%. Those two things in particular are probably the things they've addressed the most. Now, whether they've done it too much is a whole other question. Um, but story, like, 100%. Like, if you watch that story mission, that story mission we just played was more interesting than any story mission in Destiny 1. By a mile. Like, so much more interesting. <clears throat> like, so, so cool. And the cutscenes and just the significance of it. It was just really cool. Uh, being too grindy, like, again, 100%. I feel like, honestly, I kind of worry that the game might not be grindy enough. So they have definitely made it less, less grindy. Um, if you listen to all the interviews and stuff they're doing, they are significantly reducing how grindy is. Let's charge up a super nade, a spirit bomb. I can't even jump while doing this. So I just need, yeah, I'm just going to lob it. Look at the shank dude. He's destroying me. So yeah. But yeah, appreciate the um, appreciate the $5, Watercool. Thank you very much. Do you think they should have added more to the beta? Um... The thing is, what could they add without it being too much? They can't add patrol because that would be too much. Um, I think maybe a better loot system. I think, if anything, maybe more weapons, maybe engrams and the farm where you can decrypt stuff. But I think if they had patrol, that would be too much. Hey, we've got two crucial maps and two modes, which is, I think, fine. And um, we've got a good, good long strike, a good long mission. So I think if they were to add something else new, I would prefer it to be the... Um, a better loot system. And maybe a bit of actual ranking up. We can go take a look at the Vault of Glass. Shall we do that? To be honest, these teammates seem pretty interested in exploring the same as me, so... There's a lot of interesting stuff out here. But this is Vex... Fluid. Re Vex Radialorian Fluid, which hurts me. We're going to go take a look at the Vault of Glass door. Let's hop on this, and then this. So that's over there, basically. And there's a bunch of... Quantum Hobgoblin. This guy's got a lot of health. Oh, he just shielded right when the nade hit, really. really bad. This guy's got so much health, dude. Look at this. Damn. Um, there's also a Minotaur that comes around here sometimes. Yeah, that's the Vault of Glass door. You can go up there, but you can't go through it. It's just literally a door. So it's pretty cool. So maybe you can go down there. There, there aren't any Lost Sector symbols, so it's probably not a Lost Sector. There are some other Lost Sector, Lost Sector symbols around here as well. But that is the Vault of Glass door, in case you're wondering. Uh, we can hop through this portal. And there's a super angry Vex dude out here. Is there? Where's the Minotaur? Where's the main dude gone. We are just, again, we're just I'm not very good at actually doing the, the strike how I'm supposed to. Where's the big Minotaur gone? I think let's try and hop through again. Oh wait, no, it's sending us all the way through, never mind. How cool is this? Vex portals. What just shot at me? Oh, it's more of these guys. No one likes you goblins. No one cares. Yeah, I think we should go do the strike. Uh, 
Um, try using the pike and glitching through the door. I think you can get through there, but there's nothing there. It's just like a path. I've seen inside it. Um, but it's just like a... There's nothing really there. There's like a cave. But there's no, like, content in there or anything. But I'm sure a patrol that opens up, or maybe there's a secret way to open it up. I'm looking forward to exploring all of the... Um, all the planets, because all of them are going to be just as detailed as, like, the Dreadnought. If you remember the Dreadnought and Taken King, how it had, like, secrets, it had, um, like, little chests and stuff. I think the Dreadnought, well, we know the all the planets are going to be, like, basically as detailed. They're going to have, oh, I just threw a nade. Sick. That was a great nade. Great nade. Would throw again. Has Bungie said anything like a lore database like the Grimoire, Grimoire but in-game? Um, there's no lore database. I'm not sure if you know, but there's no Grimmar cards either. I'm, I'm assuming you already know that. Um, but there is no kind of law like library. That would be cool. Well, that we know of. There might be, who knows. But they haven't announced it. I kind of doubt there is. But the law supposedly is just in-game. So there's scannables. There's um, adventures. Adventures are mainly the law. Adventures are like, they're a mix between campaign missions and quests. But they're more story-driven. The whole point is for... So you find the NPC and he just tells you a bunch of story about the game. Like, this is the Traveler. This is what he's doing here. This is the Shard. This is whatever. So they're just going to tell you a bunch of lore. So that's kind of what they're doing with lore. But I don't know if there's a library or anything like that. Um, but hopefully there is. That would be cool. That would be really cool. Um, go to my settings. I'm not sure what these... I think these guys are chilling. These guys are just kind of going through at their own pace. Um, but yeah, I think that's what they're basically doing when it comes to lore. There's still 2,000 of you guys in here. That's awesome. But I think most of you guys are from America. So this is probably like evening time for you guys. Like 8 p.m. maybe? I have no idea. It's actually decent damage for that far away. Let's go under here. I hope you're not going to... Look, look, look how Bungie placed this one dude here. <laughs> They placed this one guy here just with the intention of pushing you off the cliff. You gotta love Bungie. I'm not sure the point of this place down here. You just... Is that a hole? Yep. It's very dark. I wonder if I can get... There's nothing over there, I don't think. I wanna try. I'm gonna try and go over there. Take that. Boom. I'm gonna go over here. Oh man, there's a lot of people. It's 9 p.m. for most of you guys. Eight, yep. Yeah. I'll take it that's uh, LA time. And super nade. Yo, that's a good nade. That's a good nade. And especially because it's void. That was a cool nade. Wait, 9 p.m. in New York? What time is it in LA then? 7. Is it 7 in LA? Can we get down here? Yeah, we can. What to be over here? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Anything down here? Seems like a very specific area, but there's nothing down here. Can I make the jump? Lavala, giant I'm a warlock, of course I can make the jump. You've been chilling watching the stream. Well, glad to have you here. Glad to have all you guys here. How many do you have? 2,000 people. 2,000 people chilling. So yeah, it's, it's just awesome. I love... Like, as I said in, in, in the the earlier stream, when it comes to launches like this, it's just me playing a lot, trying to find things that are cool for videos, making a video which takes like three, four, six hours, um, depending on what it is. But each video is a good, like, I'd say four hours average. Um, and this is like a quick one, just showing off something quick. Wow. But... Yeah, it, it takes a lot of time and you don't get to play the game much. As a YouTuber, that's the thing about making YouTube videos. You don't get to actually play the game. It's a lot about um, like 
A lot of people think YouTubers is just playing games all day, but that's literally couldn't be further from the truth. YouTubers wish we could play games more because the majority of your time is spent making content and then thinking about content, planning for new content, thinking about how's your old content doing and what's the what's the next video you're gonna make. It's it's a, you don't get much time to just chill and play games. So live streaming is really fun because I actually get to play the game. It's still not like obviously I can't play and chill like if I was just playing off stream because I'd be able to just be quiet and concentrate and. Um, uh, basically dedicate all my attention. Obviously right now I'm trying to read chat, trying to chat with you guys, um, trying to not be awful. So, but it's awesome. I love this. It's really fun. And I'm definitely, definitely going to be doing a lot more. I actually had um, some other YouTube friends at stream help me out. If any of you guys know Mr. Dalek JD, if any of you guys watch zombie videos, zombie chronicles that came out. Um, so he streams a lot. So he helped me with all the settings and stuff. So that was pretty cool. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully all the like the audio levels are good and sync and the quality. But yeah, it's awesome. And for anyone that's like uh, tipped or donated using um, super chat, I appreciate you guys as well. And everyone who everyone who left a like on the video, you guys are awesome. Let's charge up a super nade. This is honestly like it's so cool. I, this is one of my favorite things about Destiny 2. The thing is, I want to try it. Look at that. It's, it's like an extra thing that's going off on its own. Like an Axiom Bolt normally sends off a couple of Seekers, whereas when you charge it up to be super, it's, it spawns like five of the things and they go super track. Once they kill a target, they don't just stop, they go and find another target. So you could probably take out like 10 enemies. But I want to test it all a, a, a lot and find out like what is the optimum charge rate, like how many do you have to charge, how long do you have to charge to, um, to get to spawn how many Seekers. But that's, I'm honestly quite mind blown by that, it's very cool. I wish the hunters had something like that, you know, but each class is unique. Each class is unique. When you finish Destiny 2, will you ever go back to Destiny 1? Um, probably not, to be honest. I mean, the thing is with Destiny 1 versus 2, Destiny 2 is basically just an upgrade in every single way. And when you go back to Destiny 1, it's kind of, it seems very, I mean, also the fact that I've played it like for thousands of hours, like I've, I've played a lot of the games, so it's time for something, time for something new. Um, I mean, maybe, maybe I'll do a throwback video. Maybe like a year or two. Maybe we'll go back. Maybe after a year of Destiny 2, we'll go back, do some live games, Crucible, play a strike, see how things are different, uh, play a story mission, compare. But yeah, I think in the future, that's why it's all good. To, that's why it's all, all cool to have those uh, weapons in there and the um, everything I have in my vault. So it sounds good. Uh, is this Planet Earth? No, this is Nessus. Um. You or we ran out of medals in your fourth match of Destiny 2. Is there a we, we ran out of medals medal? I don't know that's a thing. I've got some kind of exotic medal. I've got the like something for capturing and holding a lot of flags. I got something earlier. Uh, dogs, yeah. War beasts are a thing. A bit of a weird enemy. I guess most enemy types have a new. I did a bit of damage. I get uh, most enemy types have a new, new stuff. Like it's all the fallen. This guy is gonna say hello. I have ammo. Okay, I do like this. Uh, let's shoot this barrel. To be honest, that's probably the best thing to do. When you come into this room, just shoot the yellow barrels. Don't bother shooting them. Just shoot the yellow barrels. <sighs> right. Way to reach it is down past those giant pointy drill bits. Yep. <laughs> Good. Is my audio turned down? Just leave it there. Yeah, that's why I like having all of you to tell me like if the audio is too loud or too quiet. I think it should be good now, but if there's anything, if there's anything. Also, if there's anything you'd like to see changed around like the layout. The face cam like change, the border bigger, smaller, uh, the sub count, the subscriber, anything more you'd like to see in the overlay, anything less. Um, yeah, let me know. Super nade. That's pretty cool. I am a fan. I am a fan. I uh, like, th th this is why I was uh, cautiously judging the classes because I didn't know about stuff like this. I mean, I I'd heard of it, but I didn't fully know how it works, but 
Yeah, it's just those little things you discover. The little being able to charge a nade. I love that. Let's scan this thing. I think they want their drill back. All lock nades are OP. But where is Psylock the Defiled? Where is he, man? Trying to shoot the barrel, but these guys just get in the way. Uh, what's gonna happen to the reef? I uh, don't think we've seen the reef in Destiny 2. We've seen Mercury. There's a crucible map on Mercury, and I'm pretty sure IGN are gonna show it off. Mercury obviously isn't an explorable planet. Are they, atta are they attacking each other? I thought these dogs were attacking each other. Isn't an explorable planet. But, um, yeah. Base cam bigger. Switch grenade type, I will. Favorite class so far? Uh, probably the Arch Rider. Although, this Void Walker, I, I'm liking this charge nade thing. I'm liking this. I think the other option on the other cluster is to... Um, you take your grenade energy and you can heal yourself. Get the barrel. But I think charging your grenade is more fun. But this one has the slow Nova Bomb. I'm not a fan of the slow Nova Bomb, I'll be honest. I'm not a fan of the really slow Nova Bomb. I'd rather the fast one. Um, so let's switch nade. What grenade should we use? Let's go with... Let's go with scatter nade. I think this one would be kind of boring because it would just stay there. But I wonder what it looks like. We'll try it out. We'll try it out. Yeah, this one has... Hold their one to consume your grenade energy to regenerate health. Grants devour effect. What's devour? Uh, free regenerate health. Okay, so yeah. It's basically regenerate health. Cool. Yeah, Psylocke is long dead. He's long dead. Uh, use my super. I guess I want to, but... Uh, I... I probably can't reach those guys. Let's see if we can hit... Will it get these guys? Or will it fall down? Is it going to go down? It just goes straight up. It's like Lance. Okay. Is it going to fall down and get those guys? No, it's not. Where is it? Hey, it is. Oh, almost. Almost. That's interesting. So this Nova Bomb is like Lance. It travel is no drop-off. It travels infinitely. Basically. Well, not infinitely, but it travels dead straight. It doesn't drop. That's interesting to know. Can you get exotics in the beta? You can get three. Um, sweet business for the Titan. Exotic horse rifle. The... Charge up a hot scatternade. That's pretty cool. Um, sweet business for the Titan, exotic quarter rifle, the big machine gun, uh, minigun. Risk runner for the warlock, exotic arc submachine gun. Did this guy die already. Can you just, can you just, can you just, dude, can you, dude? Oh, this dude. Oh my god, this dude. Can you just, thank you. Um, and the sunshot exotic for the Titan, for the hunter. And I'm out of ammo. This is cool. The first Nova Bomb whiff. That was a very big whiff, to be honest. I threw that straight into the sky. But, you know, for science. We did it for science. You ought to experiment. Where are these teammates at? Are these guys just... seem like they're very slow. Is this guy playing? Or is he just chilling? You should use the perk Chaos Accelerant. What is Chaos Accelerant? Oh, yeah, that's the one I was using. Feed the Void, yeah, that's what I was using. Uh, I'll give that a try once we get a bunch of enemies. In fact, I'm going to probably try here. But I'm afraid I'm going to get squashed by these drill things. Drill things, can you please? Drill, is it going to kill me? Uh, is it? I don't think drills can kill me from here. Let's charge up a let's charge up a spirit nade. Let's lob it. Where are we gonna lob it? Lob it down there. Wow. It's the same as the axiom bolt. It just basically they travel really fast. They travel really far. Like they track and kill a thing, but then they keep going and kill another thing. Bam. 
What do you think of Sunshot? I like it. It's probably my favorite of the three exotics. Get out of here. You can charge up natives? Yes, you can. Oh, that was... I'm still alive. I survived? What? I survived? I thought I was dead. How are there two drills at the same time? There was double drill. Am I going to die if I stay here? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is bad. What is your favorite class so far? Not subclass. Definitely the Hunter. For Destiny 2 or Destiny 1? Um, for Destiny 2... Well, to be honest... I mean, I'm very impressed by this charging nade ability. Very impressed. Uh, the Titan, I think, is generally kind of the best. Most, like, the Striker's very good and the Sentinel's very good. Uh, but I, yeah, Hunter's, Hunter is, Hunter is what, I, what is what I do. What's down here? I have a special place for Hunters. So, Bam. I'm going to charge up a mat. Actually, I'm going to, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put on the uh, vortex nade, and I'm going to charge up a spirit bomb for this boss. I'm going to lob it right at him. See what it does. I guess it just lasts longer and does more damage. That's my guess, but we'll see. The science. We'll see. Hope he doesn't teleport. He probably will. Yep, he teleported. But it's like, it's staying there for a while. Well, not that long. Well, I didn't charge it for that long, to be fair. But I, I guess the longer you charge it from super, the more you, um... The, more, the longer it lasts, the more damage it does. But I like it. I, yeah... I really like that. Out of everything in the beta that I've discovered, that's probably the, my favorite thing. I really like that. It's cool. Big fan. Big fan. Could do a sniper rifle, to be honest. Would you recommend Dawnblade or Voidwalker? Um, I think Dawnblade's got a much better super, but a worse perk tree. And the Voidwalker's got a worse super, but a much better perk tree. So it depends if you want perks or a good super. It depends. But Voidwalker has his cool charge and uh, charge nade thing, so there's that. There's that. What do you like about the Arc Strider? I just like that it's, you know, it's like it's like a ninja assassin, um, close quarters. It's, it's like a blade dancer really, and I love I used to love Blade Dancer back when it was good, before it was nerfed. So, but what I really want is a Night Stalker. That's what I want. So we will see about that. The Hunter Void subclass, which is yet to be revealed. Can I revive this guy? I got him. And he's going to fall. Let's charge up a big one for this guy. Because he won't move away from it. This is so weird charging up these nades. I'm going to put it right on his feet. You can't walk away from that. It's doing a good bit of damage to him. That's cool. I like it. It's switching guns. What's your favorite weapon so far? Um, ow. Maybe this Void Pulse Rifle. This is the weapon that's in the thumbnail of this live stream. Uh, Better Devil's Hand Cannon is also quite nice. And the... Uh, forgotten the name. The Red Scout Rifle. I like that too. Big fan. Do you think they're explaining too much of the game and not letting us figure out for ourselves? Honestly not. Because as most of the people are saying, there's hardly anything in this beta. This beta is very empty in terms of content. So I don't think they are, to be honest. And there is a lot of stuff they have yet to tell us. A lot. A lot of stuff they, they haven't told us. Is it going to fling me up in the sky? Yep, it did. It did it. You did it. I'm gonna die. Cool. Yes, I'm playing on a warlock, the Void Walker. How many soul classes do I think there'll be? Nine. 
I'll be white, damn. I think there'll be nine. If you've seen my recent videos, there is, like, all the evidence points that way. There is not a single bit of evidence that suggests there'll only be six. No Bungie employee has ever said there'll be six. The only thing I've ever said is we can't talk about that, so... You can, you can think about that for yourself. I should actually concentrate and do the strike. Try and get some loot drops. Let's use, um, I'm going to use, I don't have it. It's, uh, let's give this a go, the Risk Runner. This is the Warlock Exotic. I don't think these weapons are exclusive to the classes, but they only drop in these classes and you can't swap, so they kind of are. Can you only charge grenades with the Warlock? Yes, you can only charge grenades with a Voidwalker Warlock. Not even the um, Dawnblade. You can't even do it on the uh, Dawn Blades. Only the Void Walker. Is there Blink? Yes. On the actually, yeah, there, actually, yeah, there is. That's a good point. There is indeed Blink. Blink. There you go. Blink. There's a cooldown. I'm spamming it. I'm basically spamming X button, so you're seeing how the cooldown is. And if we give it a second, we should be able to double. I know I really should, um, I know I really should be playing the strike, but so you can do it again and again. It's basically the same as like, it feels like the unnerfed, oh, I shouldn't have, that was close. I feel, it feels like the unnerfed Destiny 1 blink. <laughs> I completely forgot I had blink and I just did it so I couldn't jump across the ledge. That was a fail. I hope the team doesn't wipe this bit. I'm sorry teammates, I'm being garbage because I'm trying to test out stuff for my stream. <laughs> I'm doing it for science, all right? What do you think of the social space? I think it looks cool. It's cool. I don't have much to say about it because I haven't played it and they haven't shown off much about it. I haven't seen any of the vendors, but it looks cool. It looks like, I like it. The the whole football soccer thing is um, very cool. I like that they've turned, taken a little game of football and they've turned it into an actual thing. Big fan. Right, I'm gonna try and concentrate and actually get the strike done. Cause yeah, I wanna get these loot drops. At the end of this strike, we're going to get a chest, then it's going to give us two uh, legendary items. A chest is going to spawn in the middle of the room. One Protheon. This guy just doesn't want to... Let's get some fusion rifle on him. Okay, he's done. He's good. He's good. He's good. How do you feel about auto rifles in this game? Um, same, way I feel like auto rifle, same way I feel about auto rifles in Destiny 1. Just... Okay. Never, never been my... I, sh I try to blink. I should take off blink. It's going to get me killed again. <laughs> but yeah, to answer your question, whoever said that, yes, there is blink, and that is it. Only on the Voidwalker. As we, as far as we know, Voidwalker is the only class with blink. Uh, let's charge up a nade for this dude. Charge it up. Take a sip. Because it takes so long to charge this thing. <laughs> charge it up. Keep charging. What does the acting bolt look like? I used it about uh, 20 minutes ago before I switched to this. It's doing a number on his health. This thing. Yeah, I could not use blink right now. Biggest thing I dislike in Destiny 2 right now. I need to think about that, to be honest. Um, it's hard to say because I think anything that I dislike can be easily changed. And anything I dislike is just because I haven't seen enough of it, basically. It's hard to dislike anything about this game strongly. And I don't think you really should strongly dislike anything because everything can change. Pretty much everything will change. And we haven't seen enough of it. Like, I could talk about my thoughts on subclasses, but we can only play half of it. So I don't know what the other half is like, you know? So you can't judge. Like I could say the the golden gun is pretty average, but the other got the the other cluster I haven't played it. It's locked, so can't rejudge really the guns thing as a whole. Just like a void walker, just like all of them. Um, one thing I'm kind of worried about with Destiny 2 is it being, um, I don't know, a bit too casual for lack of a better word, because Destiny Year One was very difficult, very grindy, but. That was why, I feel like that was why it did so successfully, because people wanted to grind to, to, to get the difficult things. It was a bit too difficult, it was a bit too punishing, but it was it was fun having everything be super difficult and super, like, grindy to get, because it made the stuff more valuable. 
When things are difficult to get, it's like supply and demand. When things are really difficult to get, they're more valuable, they're more important, they're more cool. But when you hand stuff out, like, just for free, it loses the value. And we've seen that with year three, like exotics. I think we can all agree they kind of lost their value with Destiny, Destiny, Destiny 1. So that's one thing I'm kind of worried about. Not worried, just kind of concerned. But again, we, we haven't seen the loot system, so we'll see. But I'm hoping... I, I just want to see, like, a bit of grind. I want to see something you can... Hardcore players like us. I mean, most of you guys in chat are probably hardcore players. If you're watching someone stream Destiny, then you're, you probably play a lot of this game and you're probably quite invested in it. So the people like us, um, I hope there's stuff for us to keep us grinding, you know, like carrot on the stick, like god roll weapons to farm. Again, they're taking out god roll weapons, so I'm just hoping there's stuff to farm, you know. I don't want to just like load up Destiny and just Destiny 2 and just be handed everything on a stick. Because I want to, I want to, I want a reason to farm, to play the game essentially. Because if I, if I get given everything, then I'm, you know, it feels like I've completed it. So, but you know, it's Bungie, they know how to make a grindy game, so. Like I said, it's too early to comment, but I'm hoping it's not too kind of just easy. But I don't think it will. I think it'll be a combination. But again, we'll have to see. Um, should I put on? I'm using the vort vortex grenade right now. Mess yourself is your friend. Yeah, mess yourself. I actually went to school with him. I've known him for like he's probably one of my oldest friends that I know since uh, probably maybe ten years. I can't even remember. But yeah, we went to school together. We both had the idea of uh, make, uh, making YouTube channels. We both watched YouTube a lot. And we thought, yeah, it looks fun. We'd love to do that. So we gave it a shot. So yeah, that's a fun fact. I don't know if we ever made videos together though. Because he does different kind of content to what I do. And he tends to play a variety of games. Whereas I, I just kind of pick one game and grind it out. Show charge scatter grenades. Sure. Um, scatter... Although I need to find a bunch of enemies. Let's just start charging now, and by the time it's charged, there'll probably be enemies. But I guess this is the drawback, you know, like, I think this is fair that you have to charge this because you are going to overpower the grenade, so it makes sense. It makes sense. Charge it up. Charge it up. Should I lob it the boss? Yeah, I'm going to lob it around his feet. I'm just lobbing these guys. Right there. Didn't do that much damage. I think that did like four lots of like 57 damage. I think I was probably better used the adds. Maybe it wasn't a good idea to use that against the boss. Do you think they will add stuff in the beta later? Honestly, I don't think so because there isn't much stuff they can add to make it that like wouldn't be adding patrol and they're not going to add patrol. And then I, I don't think they're going to add like another cruise. They, they might, it's possible. That would be kind of possible. But um, I don't think so, to be honest. Uh, there's a lot of people right now. Rift. Oh, I tried to pop the rift. Please don't wipe. Please don't wipe. There's two of them. Uh-oh, there's one of them. Survive for 20 seconds or come revive me. Cool, we got it. The guy's that one shot too. Am I really gonna die again? Leave me alone. Let's melt him, team. Let's do it. There we go. Let's get these loot drops. Do you think they will extend the beta? I think so. I think they will. Alright, is this the chest? And we got the Deathstalker AU, which is an energy weapon, and some gauntlets. Wait, heavy wall of armor, additional resilience cost mobility, additional mobility it costs of... Okay. That's interesting. Ah. So all the wall of armor isn't about all recovery. You can get armor armor. You can get armor armor for the Warlock, armor that increases your armor stat, or resilience as they call it. So you can get resilience armor for your Warlock. It's not all, okay, that's interesting. So with Hunter, you can get like armor gear and also recovery gear, as well as agility. That's cool, I didn't know that. What does Gauntlet look like? Yeah, all right. 
want to see some exotic armor. Like, you know that big gold, the gold wings for the hunt for the warlock? I want to, I want to see those. Those look really cool. Those look really cool. Do you think they should add the option to get random rolls on your weapons, or do you like the set rolls? So, we don't actually know how the perks work right now, but this is the intrinsic perk, which the word intrinsic kind of means fixed, that, that kind of a perk that comes with the weapon. So, I don't know if this is random. I don't think it is. It may be random. Like, some people are saying it is random, but I'm not too sure. But this does handling and move faster. So, I think this perk might be random, but I'm not too sure. Um... But I'm pretty sure these perks are all fixed. These are all the same. But this perk might be random. But I'm not too sure. And again, this is all probably going to change by, by the felt, uh, final build of the game. Um, let's go with this go. Will you be playing the PC version of the game? Absolutely. 100%. I'm pretty bad with PC. So I'm actually looking forward to learning how to use mouse and keyboard again. I haven't used mouse and keyboard in years. In years. I was okay with it at one point. But now I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty garbage with mouse and keyboard. So it's gonna be like a, it's gonna be a, a, like a secondary thing. Also, when Destiny Two comes, like it comes out on PC later on the 24th of October, I want to say 23rd, 24th thing. So I'm obviously I'm gonna main PS4 as a console. But whenever there's kind of, whenever I've got some free time, whenever I feel like it, I'm just gonna play PC, and it looks unbelievable on PC. So in 4K uncapped frame rate, it looks. Unbelievable. I don't I don't know a single person who said the PC version of Destiny 2 looks like average or bad. And the PC, I think PC Gamer, who are obviously like a PC gaming article, they said it's their game of the year. They voted it game of the year. And they said it's one of the best looking PC games they've ever seen. So there's a lot of very reputable PC experts that like it. It's not just like console people being like, yeah, that's pretty good, like me. Like I don't have I don't really have much to say about um I'm not really much of an authority when it comes to PC stuff. But people who do have authority are like, yeah, this game looks... Destiny 2 is really good on PC, so... What's down here? We've got a point, an emblem, and a ship. In case you didn't know, these ships have shaders. Syrian Divide shaders. So, yeah, you can shade a ship. This one's got, like, a carbon fiber, green, blue, and black. You can see carbon fiber, green, blue, and black. So, yeah, shaders. I think this ship normally comes white. Syrian... Yes, that's a shader supplied. That's not the default color. Can you unequip it? No. Okay. There you go. Where's Bife? Where is Bife? What is Bife doing? Um, that mission took 37, 37 minutes. What is Bife doing? Uh, he is in orbit. Let's see what Bife is at. Let's, let's see what Bife is rocking with. Better Devils, the Scout Rifle. He's rocking Hunter. Bife on a Hunter. Oh man, what's happened? What's happened? Bife is on a hunter. Um, what do you think of the Jubis Volley? I don't know. It's it's a gun. It's not its real name. Jubis Volley isn't actually its real name. Um, but it's a cool rocket launcher in Destiny 2. It's exotic. It shoots a like a bunch of mini arc things that kind of fan out on track. It's a cool gun. Are linear fusion rifles the beta? I don't think so. I, don't, I feel like I might have seen one at the event yesterday, but I don't think there are. In S2, can you open strike chest without key? Uh, that chest just opens, yeah, it opens up without key. No no key required. But there might be keys, strike strike chest keys in the, in the full game. That might have been an actual strike um, strike horde, as they're called. Rasputin is in Destiny 2. The DLC emblem is literally Rasputin. Yes, it is. The, Des the second expansion for Destiny 2 is going to be themed around Rasputin. It's a slow go. Have you tried Tartian? I have. Uh, you playing Xbox One? No, PS4. The beta is currently only live on PS4 right now. Titans are overhyped. Ooh, it's firing shots. Are you going to take that, Titans? Are you going to take that? Do you start at level 20? Yes. In the beta, you start... Oh, not in the full game, obviously, but in the, in the beta, you start at level 20, light level 200. Can you get armor weapon mods in the beta? No, you cannot. Um, can you have more than one character? Yes, you can. I saw someone using a linear fusion rifle. Maybe they are. I have a linear fusion rifle. Maybe they are in the vein. Yeah, I thought I saw them yesterday. There are. Okay, cool. There are. So they linear fusions don't drop on any of the characters. The hunter, titan, or warlock don't start with them. But I get. I guess you have to get them as loot drops. So I guess that's something to grind for. 
Um, okay, so a bunch of you guys have linears. Cool. How did you guys get the linear fusion rifle? Let me know. How did you get this? Did any of you spawn a character with the linear fusion or did you get it as a loot drop? Let me know if you got the linear fusion as a loot drop. What was your favorite map so far? Uh, depends what you mean by map. If by map you mean crucible map, there's only two to choose from. Um, probably Endless Vale, this one. This is Endless Vale. Favorite planet would be, again, this one, Nessus. <laughs> Green and red and vex. It's cool. I like it. Let's give um let's give let's give both of these a try. Let's give the this pulse rifle and the oh, I have a sight actually. This sight's pretty cool. Is that gonna kill things? Almost. They did a lot of damage. Can you finish them off, teammates? This pulse rifle's okay. It's okay. Do you get anything special for playing the beta? You get an emblem. An emblem will carry through, and it'll be quite rare. So in Destiny 1, there's like an emblem playing the alpha, the beta, and they are very, very rare. There's not many people that have them. Because there'll be a lot of people that buy Destiny 2 at launch that haven't played the beta, so if you get the emblem, then you'll be it'll, it'll be one cool thing that, it'll have, that you'll have. Oh, where's the gone? Uh, is there snipers? Yes. The hunter spawns with a sniper. There is one sniper. Any rocket launchers? Um, I don't know. What are you guys saying about crucible loot drop? Crucible, crucible drop. I got one, I got one when I spawned in a warlock. Okay. Crucible, strike drop. So it seems to be a loot drop. Um, I should be paying attention to this game because we're getting triple capped. <laughs> That's sniping. It's a void wall nade. Zone A's captured. It's yours. Also, I think all of the melees in Destiny 2 are the same. What? Did he just shotgun me? He shotgun me from that far away. I think he two shot me. You want anything to be changed about the Night Stalker? Um, I think so. Yeah. I mean, Night Stalker's cool, but I'd love to see it changed. Sure. As long as it's still like sneaky, like all three of them there. As long as it's still sneaky and cool and it's got the whole tether. I really like the tether. I like the shade step. If it had a perk that improved the shade step, made you could do it more often, that'd be cool. But I, yeah, I'd honestly like them to change up the Night Stalker a bit. As much as I love it, I would love to see, uh, you know, oh, there's literally the entire team there still. I can't engage them. I need to team shot. Um, but I think they will. Like, well, I know they will 100%. Or whatever the... the the third Hunter Void class might not even be a Night Stalker. They might just make it a different class altogether. Um, I have a rocket launcher and I got it from the Crucible. Okay, yeah. So rocket launchers are in the game. How is it compared to the first? Um, it's hard to say. I mean, it looks like... I mean, some people some people say this game looks very similar to Destiny 1. Some people say it looks very different and new. Their entire team is always together. Um, I don't know. It depends. I mean, a lot of hardcore players, this game looks very different. The heads-up display, the way things work, it's very different. But to people, from, from the broader perspective, it is obviously very similar because it's, it's Destiny 2, you know, like, Destiny 1 was a very successful game, one of the most, I think it's the most successful console launch in recent history. So you'd kind of understand why Destiny 2 would be similar to Destiny 1 because Destiny 1 was great. Like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So, if, like, Bungie's literally won awards for their heads-up display. Like, one of the best heads-up displays in all of in all of console gaming. So... You can kind of understand why they wouldn't want to change it, because why would you, you know, just to make it look different for the sake of it. Unknown player is my favorite YouTube. Thank you. I appreciate that. I try to be a good YouTube. Stop it. Nope. Um, is there trading? Probably not. Probably not. Do you want Stormtrance to come back? Uh, not really. <laughs> not really, if I'm honest. Um, I, I've never played Stormtrance that much. Played against it a lot and it's quite annoying, I'm not gonna lie. I keep trying to shade step. Is the FOV slider in the beta? I don't know. It'll be on the PC if it is, but these guys keep team shotting. Um The FOV slider will be in the final game of the PC, but I don't know if it's if it's in the PT PC beta. It wasn't in the E3 build. So I'm unsure on that one. That is a question mark. 
Hope the Hunter's third subclass is some kind of bow, since Hunters mostly uses guns, melee weapons, and bows. I think... I think the third Hunter subclass is going to be... Some kind of roaming ranged attack. It makes sense, because the Golden Gun's like a... Yeah, a gun. Um, Arc Strider is a roaming melee. I think it will be kind of similar to maybe Sunbreaker, but with bows, I'd imagine. Just throwing bows around. I kind of doubt it will be one like Night Stalker bow, but again, we don't, we have no idea what it will be. What they're gonna do? That's a blade. That's a dude. I had no chance. <laughs> Power up a sticky nade and see what happens. Um, you can't. There are no sticky nades. The only class that can power up nades is this Warlock, and the Warlock doesn't have sticky nades. <laughs> that sounds awful. <laughs> that sounds awful. Powered up sticky nades. Um, so, yeah, the only yeah the only nades you can power up is on this Void Walker, which is the Vortex, the Axion, and the Scatter. And that's a thing. Cool. Cool. I'm going to get rid of this Risk Runner and put on the this thing and this thing. Uh, is there a big PvE component? Every stream is PvP at the moment. I think that's because PvP is the only thing that actually changes. You know, like the strike is the same every time. You know, it's just the strike. Whereas PvE, it's... Um, damn it. PvP, like, you know, it's different. You know, every, every game you play is... Always unique. So I think that's why most people are playing Crucible. Plus there's two maps. Um, so you can kind of understand why people are playing a lot more Crucible. Throwing bows around. Unknown player 2k17. I love your videos and I just joined your stream. Thank you very much. Goldgroth Gaming. Um, yeah, the, the number you're seeing on screen is my sub count. And to the left of that you can see people subscribing. So... Those, if you subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my YouTube channel, then your name pops up on screen. And that is my live sub count. It goes up live. And you can see 687,195 people. And Roman Hall is the 195th person. So who's going to be the 687,196th person? Who's going to be? Who's going to be next up? And also, if you want to, as an option, if you want to... Gruntmaster 6552. He is the did update? Or did it already update? I don't know. Um there is also the super chat, which is the YouTube's version of tips or donating. And then you'll pop on screen and you can like send me a message and obviously read it and answer your question or whatever. Um and there is also, yeah, normal, normal tips or donations with the link at the top of the description. If you want to do that, the link is at the top of the description. But you don't have to, don't feel obliged. If you want to leave a like rating on the video, that'd be much appreciated. Like ratings are awesome. Let's try and get some likes on the video. I think the last one got like nearly 3,000 or maybe over 3,000. Uh, can I check? So, yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah, wow, 3,300. Can we beat the last live stream? Well, 1,200 and we've got 1,800 people in chat. So if there's 1,000 of you that haven't liked the video yet, we can get it way up to 2,000. Control. I wonder if we can beat how long how long are we into the stream? I started around uh twenty past midnight. It's now three. Okay. Alright, let's play some more crucible. I may switch to the Dawnblade in a minute. Um or maybe back to the Arc Strider. Or maybe the whole team is here. This was a bad idea. This was a bad idea. One teammates help me out. What's your opinion on trading? I don't think it's going to happen. Um, it's just... It seemed like... I think trading would completely destroy any kind of fun of Destiny. Because it would be like, hey, my friend... Because, like, there's always going to be weapons that you have multiple of that your friend doesn't have. Everyone would get every weapon, basically. Um, maybe trading at the end of games, like, you can trade your loot drops. Like, say you finish a strike, all three of you get your loot drops. Maybe then you can choose to swap, but even then it's still like it eliminates the grind. But I don't think Budge is going to do it. They've, they've they've thought about it and talked about it for a long time, and they are heavily against it, which I, I think is most understandable, to be honest, because trading would be pretty kind of... It would just kind of destroy the fun, because you'd be like, oh, my 
Like if you if you got a friends list of fifty people, one of them has probably got a weapon that you want. You can probably go and get every single weapon you want without even playing the game. You can just oh, this friend's got this gun, and this friend's got this gun, and this friend's got this gun. Just trade, and there you go. And people would probably sell weapons. They're probably like a, people on eBay like selling guns. <laughs> I don't even know how that happened. So it'll be a mess. It'll be a mess. I like the Omelon Pulse you're using. Yes, I do too. No self ray. No self rays at Dawn Blade replace it. Yes, there is no self rays. Even though the Defender Bubble is there, there's no self res. The Crucible is something that's very difficult to do on stream. Because trying to read chat and play Crucible, I mean, doing strikes okay, because I can just not pay attention, <laughs> that's fine. But, um... Crucible requires it, especially this Crucible. This, cru this Crucible is very competitive. So trying to reach at the same time. If trading is on people, sell guns. I agree. Um, Engram trading. Uh, I mean, maybe, I guess. I kind of wish there was Engrams in this beta. There's two of them. This is cool. I'm going to put on Axiom Bolt. No, Axiom Bolts. Okay. Zone a lost. Actually, I'm going to unblink as well. They've got total control. Zone C captured. Keep some blinking. I keep trying to shade step, man. Hunters mess me up. Because I get used to shade stepping when I'm in trouble. Health, you know, regen, thank you. I don't have an aid. Why am I? Oh, someone's behind me. Man, I'm getting unlucky. When did you start YouTube? Probably like three or four years ago. Did we get Mercy Ruled? That's fine. Get some loot drops quicker. How do you rank the three classes so far? Like I said before, I haven't played enough of them to fully rank them. Um, hmm. I'd say that, I mean, in terms of just generally... I'd say the Titan's probably the best, the most powerful. It's got very useful tools. Um, I don't know. I don't know about the Hunter and Warlock. They're both about the same. They're both, you know. But like I said, I need to, I need to play a lot more of them to be able to judge, to be honest. Do I think there'll be hammers? Um, I think so, probably. Probably. New bond. What does this thing do? Binary Phoenix bond. There you go. What armor do we have? We got, is this Xenos Veil? And we have an auto rifle. What are upgrade points? They're just, they're, they're kind of like a, a placeholder. They're not fully there. It's like kind of a similar icon to the exotic shard. An upgrade point. Um, but yeah. Uh, Dawnblade. Oh, shard. Yeah, so let's do a bit of Dawnblade. I think we'll do a bit of Dawnblade and then switch back to one more Voidwalker. And then maybe we'll do Arc Strider. Does each class get an exotic? Yes, it seems that way. Is this game worth getting? If you enjoy Destiny 1, you will love Destiny 2. Um, if you don't like Destiny 1, then there's a chance you like Destiny 2, but it's not guaranteed. But if you love Destiny 1, and if you... We're able to survive through all the content droughts and all of the loot and all the issues Destiny 1 had. If you liked it, then you are going to love this game. If you didn't like Destiny 1, if you quit, you got bored of it, you didn't like it, then there's a chance you like Destiny 2 because there's tweaks, but it's not guaranteed. You may still hate it. I mean, it's still Destiny, you know, it's still shoot aliens, get loot. But, you know, the loot grind is a bit better. The story is a bit better. The story is a lot better. <laughs> I haven't even configured my hooks yet.
But yeah, that's that's what I'd say. If you enjoy Destiny 1, you'll like this game. If you didn't, then there's a chance. But that's not guaranteed. Nothing's guaranteed in life. <laughs> nice. That's actually a really good grenade. What's the deal with an overbomb? I don't know, dude. <laughs> it's weird. How much is in the game? A lot more than this in the beta, I'll tell you that. Um, oh, how much is the game? Uh, I, I don't even know, like $60, I think? I don't even know how much video games are these days. I assume $60, 40 pounds, I think. There's always like special editions and collector's edition. Um, is there any social spaces in the game? Yes, there's a farm. In this beta? Um, no, but for one hour on the last day, there will be. Dude, these bait and switches are real right now. How did I kill that guy? This Destiny 1 is like the most bait and switches I've ever had in my life. You shoot one guy, he hides, and then his, three of his friends come around the corner and just mess you up. Nice, that's a good combo. A Titan Shield and a Warlock Rift. So now we're pretty powerful. You have zone advantage. Zone C lost. Zone B captured. Zone advantage is Oh yeah, you can do this. Wait, can you? No, you can't. Never mind. I'm on the wrong tree. Never mind. Wait, where's the perk? Is it on the other thing? Um Oh made out to dodge. That's during Dawnblade. Is this perk on the Oh quick oh the was that the top perk before? Phoenix Dive. I feel like in the previous games, this perk was up here. That's what I tried to do just then. <laughs> and I just spawned next to the dude. This is cool. This is cool. That was cool. Uh, $60, $90 Australian, or $100. I don't know which currency that is. $60, $90, $100. Uh, in Australia, Destiny 2 is $100 to $200. This hand is weird. Like, sometimes it feels really good. Oh, I need to... I know what I need to do. I know what I need to do. <laughs> I've got the wrong perk on this thing. That's what I want. And sure shot will make this gun much better. And I want... That one. I can use these weapons the wrong way. Is someone... Yeah, of course there's someone next to me. Of course he would wait until the second I get out of my menu to kill me. Um, but now I've got the good perks on. How much longer will I be streaming for? I'm not sure. Probably a good bit. Not going to be going anytime soon, but pretty good bit. Playing a good uh, couple games, maybe a strike, switch some characters. Seems like it has a lot more recoil with this perk on. But it reloads so much quicker. Who's over here? Untuck, what are you doing? Nice. Should I use Hunter or Titan? Um, it depends. Depends if you like playing easy mode or not. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking, Titans. Don't get angry at me. Black grenade gonna burn him. So Warlocks have the ability to allow more DPS for bosses with the new ability. Yes, they do. Warlocks have the ability to place down a thing. And you get weapons of light. You have to stand in it and you get weapons of light. And there's also a thing which I have which gives you uh, more health re health regen. The difference between quick play and competitive. Compe uh, this is quick play. Which is just, I mean, nothing really. Quick play is countdown, the mode, which is like elimination. And quick play is, uh, did I say quick play? Competitive is countdown elimination. And quick play is this, which is control. So it's just Bungie kind of saying... Countdown is a bit more competitive and a bit more kind of tactical. But it's not like, you know, it's not competitive. It's just it's just elimination. This guy's got a special a heavy weapon. Nice. Team shots. That's how it's done. Nice. We get the fourth. Oh, it's a golden gun. Don't kill me. Nah, he got me. Did he get me? Yeah, he got me. 
has bad timing. I popped it right as he popped his Goldie. But it took him like two or three shots to kill me though. Because like I said, Golden Gun, I'm not really a fan of that top perk. Like having six shots, but they're super weak. I'm not really, uh, I don't know. How did you count down? We'll do countdown after this. You captured zone B. You the countdown is the competitive mode. It's the one on the far right. It's the far right option. This is the uh, left option. And in the middle is the strike. Can you replay the story mission? I don't think you can. Just thinking about it. I don't think you can replay the story mission. They are everywhere right now. They are literally surrounding me. How long have you been streaming? I was here five hours ago. This is the second stream. I streamed for about three hours or four. And now this is the second stream. I took like a two hour break. Maybe three hour break. Ate some food. Blasted some AC. Cooled this sauna down that I call an office. Because in the UK we don't have air conditioning. But I have an air conditioning unit, which is like a separate thing. But um, it's very loud. So I don't want to run it during the stream. Arson arc staff. I'm dead. I'm dead. It's been nice knowing you. Ah, uh, there's all the entire team. Oh, man. Ow, oh, man. Do you like Countdown? Yeah, I quite like it. I like it. What's the pulse rifle? This is a... Uh, it is... This thing. And I got a chest piece. Cool. Back on this too. This isn't the matching set. But why not? Why not? If you play the beta, will you have exclusive items in the real game? Yes, you have an emblem and maybe some other stuff. And you have a lot of veteran wards. If you play Destiny 1, you can have a lot of stuff. There's a ton of emblems and there's a ton of other like cosmetic, visual, random stuff that you're going to get. Uh, there's going to be a lot of veteran wards is what, the, is what they're called. Um, can you do the first mission to fire team? No, because... In fact, you can only do the first mission... Yeah, you can't do the first mission. And you can only do the first mission when you start a character. So no, you can't do the first mission in the fire team. Uh, no, basically. Uh, can you play comp? Yes, I will play this, which is uh, kind of close to thumb. Kind of close to comp. I love your video so much. They gave me all the information I need. I want to say thanks. I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. Just as much as you might enjoy watching my videos, I enjoy being able to interact with you guys, and I appreciate you guys, so thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, you're the best watch your streams. Thank you very much. Dylan, is Radar Blooming out? Like, Blooming. Uh, what's Radar... The Radar Bloom? What's Radar Blooming? I don't know that term. Um... No AC in the UK, yeah. Like it, it's always cold in the UK, so we don't need it. We need it about about one month out of the year. Uh, can you play countdown? Yes, we're about to. How to get the pulse rifle? It's on the warlock, or you can get it as a loot drop. Can you get sweet business on a warlock? Mm, probably in the full game, but in this game, no, because you can't transfer. There's no vault. Um, you get some fishing events, yes. Uh. Do you think Night Stalk will come back? Yes, but I think it'll be different. What did I eat? I ate some chili. Some hot and spicy chili. There's no way to tell if you play Destiny or console for PC. Yes, that's correct. If you go on PC, then you won't have any veteran wards because it's a different platform. Like, your veteran wards will carry through the same, um, the same platform that you are on. Right, team, let's get this Montoz. Toz is not with us. Rest in peace, Toz. It's uh, 3v4 right now. I think the enemy team has gone to the other objective. Yes, they have. So with this mode, you need to stick with your team. They have set the charge. Descend Warlock. Did he just regen him? No, he didn't. Wow, what weapon is he using? Are you using the same one as me? The Pulse Rifle. The Nurgle. Uh, Bates characters will not transfer over. 
Um, I had chili for dinner. Just a few. The team has your back. Uh, do you dislike exclusives? Exclusives are never fun. There's not really many positives to exclusive. It's just content that one console gets that the other doesn't. So there's not really many benefits to that. Uh, how do you get exclusive rewards like the sword? I think you just pre-order. Uh, one of my favorite YouTubers should start the live stream more often. Thank you very much, Eric. And I will. Um, Shyam Panda, I see that. I will take note of that. Um, use the mid-air dodge, it's super useful. Um, okay, let's actually play the game. Here's my teammates. Uh, what are they doing? Okay, everyone's over here. We're getting team shot. I'm going to join him. I'm going to help. That's a suppressing aid right in my face. Okay, so now I'm suppressed. I can't use my nades. I can't jump. I can't do much. I'm going to die. Only one minute left. Yeah, come the corner. Yeah, this is definitely a, bit, a lot more tactical. Damn. Yeah, these guys are like, these guys are decent. These guys are a full team. As you can tell, they're all sticking together. They're coordinated. Unlike me, well, I'm wasting my time reading my chat all the time. Not wasting my time, but I'm spending my time reading the chat. And I'm definitely not concentrating the game. Your team has been um, if you pre-order, can you get the beta? Yes. That's how you get into this beta right now. Can you take helmets off in the beta? No. What subclass am I using? The Dawnblade. Um, what version did I get? Uh, I don't know what you mean. Um, Will the beta open for people who can't pre-order? Yes, on in two days. You're the best testing YouTuber ever, IMO. Thank you very much, Dalek. Don't know who you are, but appreciate that. Who here is sub to Mr. Dalek JD? Who watches watches zombies videos? How about them zombie chronicles? How about them zombies? Ah, rip. Should I buy the deluxe edition or standard? Can I add you? Well, it depends. Depends what um depends. If you're interested in that kind of stuff, like you get physical things and you get the expansions which is kind of helpful if you plan on getting the expansions then it's probably worth buying whatever gets you them cheaper you found a revive tokens yeah i think so i think revive spamming in destiny 1 was a bit too prevalent so i'm glad it's been kind of reduced a prior match going to come back not at launch no prior matches at launch um but it sounds like they're going to do a big update, which is going to add a lot of stuff for Crucible, like private matches, possibly Rumble, um, the competitive mode, kind of ranked play, whatever it is. But ranked play isn't going to be at launch either. But they're working on something equivalent to it. Is this guy still not playing? Toz. Shout out to Toz. We're uh, three versus four right now. Let's lob that there. Oh, and it hit the th it hit the top of the thing. That would have been such a good nade if it all that shield. Sad about that. I probably should peek. I'm weak. Get out the way, Hunter. Only one minute left. Oh, Toz is playing now. Nice use of your eyes, Toz. I'm getting shot from all angles. Cool. I am just getting team shot way too much. I think I'll do a stream at some point where I have just have a team and we just play Crucible. Most informative Destiny YouTuber got me through Taken King and Rise of Iron. Thank you. Appreciate that. Appreciate that, Torin. How long is beta out for? Till Sunday, but they may extend it. It's possible. Use the scout. Uh, I don't think I have a good scout on this account. No, I don't. Uh, I've got the garbage scout, but I don't use the garbage scout. Um... Uh, Use dodge. Can you dodge? Is it? Oh, what? I, I thought that was just as the, the super. So warlocks have a garrison? I thought that was just inside the um, the dawn blade. Let's hide behind this. Let's pop this. It's this guy in his rift versus me, me and my rift. Um... Nice, good job, team. Is Zer going to be in Destiny 2? Will there be another person like him? It's very likely. Zer works well, but I wouldn't surprise if they revamp it, if they make it a little bit different. It's likely. Detonate 
How are the hunters this time around? Pretty same as Destiny 1. They're hunters, they're sneaky. When we will be able to visit the farm? I believe it's 6 p.m. on the Sunday. I'm trying to get used to how far grenades travel in this game. These enemies are split up, so we can hopefully take advantage of that. Man, the t oh, he's behind. Really? Oh, man. He finally used the dodge. I'm satisfied. Dawnblade or Voidwalker? Probably the Voidwalker. Voidwalker is my favorite in Destiny 1. I mean, to be honest, yeah, Void. You can charge up your nade. How cool is that? That is so cool. How did you boost? How did you do that? Yeah, Voidwalkers, although the garrison's pretty cool as well. All the classes, they've got really cool stuff. Really cool stuff. You don't have to be in Dawnblade. Can you do it on Voidwalker too? If you know a Voidwalker, then <laughs> Voidwalker's OP. Yeah, same as um, same as Shade Set, really. Dodge. Uh, but it's it, it's like the it's like the current dodge. You can only do it once. You can't do it twice. I need to get used to using that then. Hmm. I'm in a bad spot. Hmm. I can't revive him yet. This is fine. Will beta return after Sunday? Um, it's possible they might extend it for another day. And then the beta will be on PC. Late August. What's your favorite new super? Um, favorite new super? Probably the Sentinel. It's very cool. Sentinel is very cool. We eventually post vids of playing with other people, definitely. I think probably when Trials comes out. Um, I, oh, I saw it. I knew it was going to do that. Um, probably when the Trials comes out. I'll do Trials highlights like how I used to. Who who watched my um, my old Trials highlights videos back in? Back in year two and three. I miss making those. Obviously, I don't play much Trials or much Destiny 1 these days. Because I did it for like a year straight. But, um, yeah, I cannot wait for Trials. And I want to get some friends together. Well, three other friends this time. And we'll, we'll, we'll do some Trials videos. So, yeah. Can't wait. I'll probably get special guests on. Just get other YouTubers, other streamers, other people. Um, so, I'll try and find other friends. And we'll... Should be pretty good. I think I'm pretty... Well, the fact, the fact that it's three versus four didn't help. But the fact that I've been reading chat so much... Yeah, we lost this game. Although, my team is... Alright, I'm going to try and concentrate. If we can get, if we can match make for a, for a fourth person, that'd be cool. Is that a Destiny 2 beta better than a Destiny 1 beta? Um, probably not, because Destiny 1 beta had so much content. You do, like, patrol. You can do, like, seven missions. You do... Um, you get you can level up. You get anger. Like, there, there was so much. So, like... It's kind of hard to compare the two because you could do so much in the Destiny 1 beta. Right, they've all gone to the other one. They're going to be planting. And they're all set up, basically. Ah, that nade. There's one. Damn! So, oh, he's Fist of Havoc. He's Fist of Havoc behind me. We've got the same pulse rifles. That's how you get a pulse rifle, basically. Loot drops. I think it, it comes... This weapon comes naturally on the Warlock. If you don't get it, you can get it from a loot drop. So you need to basically farm it and grind it. Will you play on PC? Absolutely. Um, can you explain the weapon system? Sure. So, I'll wait to go to orbit. Essentially, these are kinetic weapons. They've got no element. They're just normal, standard weapons. These are energy weapons. These all have elements. 
and they also do more damage against supers in the crucible. So if you see a super, use one of these. Uh, these have pulse rifle. These well, these are all primaries. You can get hand cannons, pulse, also scout, but also SMGs and sidearms. And you can also get SMGs and sidearms in here. So th these are all the same, but these are energy ones with elements. These are normal. These ones are all the power weapons. So weapons that do a lot of damage. Fusion rifles, uh, shotguns, snipers, grenade launchers, rocket launchers, swords, linear fusion rifles. All the heavy hitter weapons is now heavy ammo. They do more damage and they're all power. The the ammo drops basically the same as special ammo. They're kind of like, they quite often through like, throughout the game, but only one person get it. That's power ammo. And these are obviously like you get low, like you get, these are basically prime weapons. But you get one element, one normal. Hopefully that's explained the weapon system. Let's play some more... I'm going to switch to, I'm going to switch to my, should I switch to Hunter or t or Titan to play some more Crucible? I want to play some more, um, some more Countdown. But should I do Hunter or Titan? You decide. Arc Strider or Sentinel? Let me know in the chat. Right, any exotics in the beta? Yeah, there's three. Uh, the Hunter gets the Sunshot hand cannon. Titan gets the auto rifle, sweet business. And the Warlock gets the Risk Runner, SMG. Playing on console? Yes, playing on PS4. Uh, how would you rate the game based on the beta out of 10 so far? How would you rate the game based on the beta? Uh, I don't know. That's hard, that's, hard, that's hard to answer that question. How do you rate the game? I mean, yeah, it's, it's good. Good, like, a, I don't know. It's, it's, it's hard to give it a number. It's just, it's good. Hmm, Hunter or Titan? You guys seem, seems 50-50. Uh, I'm seeing a bit more Titan. There's a lot more Titan. Now the Hunters are coming back. Hunter or Titan? Hmm. I'm going to go with, let's go with the Titan. Let's go with the Titan. I mean, to be honest, the majority of my beta gameplay and all future streams, I mean, I'm a Hunter main, so we're going to get a lot of Hunters. So let's let's rock with a bit of Titan for now. Let's play. So actually, what weapons do I have in this Titan? Do I have any good weapons? I've got the Scout, the Hand Cannon. Hmm. Pulse, i got the Pulse Rifle. Yeah, let's rock with the Titan. I don't think I've played this Titan in uh, this mode yet. <laughs> it's hard to tell. There should be polls. YouTube, yeah, YouTube chat should have polls. That'd be cool. Like a quick poll you can just have. I guess I could probably make like a straw poll and link it, but I can't be bothered. I don't want to send you guys somewhere else to do that. <laughs> half of you are really happy that I picked the Titan, and half of you are sad. It's okay, Hunters. I, I, I'm with you guys. There will be plenty of Hunter gameplay. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. I'm going to record this gameplay so that I have it. Uh, let's do... Oh, there you go. We're finding a game, evaluating, searching. It's kind of weird playing 4v4 as well. It's weird. The number... So if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, just the normal red subscribe button where you subscribe to me, I show up in your sub feed, you know, normal YouTube subscription, then your name pops up on the screen, like Grayson Seeger has just subscribed. And the number next to my head, that is my live subscriber account. So it updates live. And when you subscribe, your name pops up on stream. And then if you um, want to tip or donate, you can do Super Chat through YouTube or through PayPal, Streamlabs. And those, I think Super Chat is in the chat icon, the little dollar sign next to the emoji. And the soup, the Streamlabs is at the top of the description. And if you do that, then there'll be an alert. You'll pop up on screen. You can send a message. I'll read it out. Obviously, answer your question, talk to you. Um, but yeah, it's completely optional, obviously. 
Well, the free roam Destiny 2, yeah. They'll be, yeah, they'll be all four planets. Nessus, Titan, Io, and the European Dead Zone. And you can patrol them. So, Destiny's version of free roam. Can you use the exotic? Can you sweep business? All right, a lot of people want to see me use sweep business. Let's do it. Also, how cool is this? This is so, like, trippy and weird. It's cool. Probably get bored of it soon, but it's cool. Sweet business. And... Can we compare... I don't have the other hand cannon to compare to this one. I want to see if it's more high impact. Um, let's put on... What perk? Can we put perks on this thing? Reload speed. Yes, I want reload speed. Um... I wonder which one of these I should use. I don't know if range is good in Destiny 2. That's the thing. Like, in Destiny 1, it always is. Let's go for range anyway. Let's go for range. Let's go for range. We have one of us. We good. Thing is, with this sweet business, I need to pre-fire it and charge it up. Because it's really bad at start. And it gets better. They're all together right now. And they're all splitting up. That's annoying. I should put damage into like three different people. What changed from Destiny 1 are you most excited for in Destiny 2? Um, uh, a better story. An actual story. It's a pretty big change. Big fan of it. Because like it's cool to actually get lore, you know? Like to find lore right now, you have to watch a buy video or like mining games you have to you have to really try you have to read grimoire cards it's really difficult but um in destiny 2 there'll be so much story in the story how crazy is that so i'm i'm, I'm really excited i just want to like you know see what gore's about what happens to him all the their giant like cabal super weapon um the european dead zone want to find out about shah the traveler a lot of stuff like that can these guys stop ah oh, every time I want one on one gunfights, but every time there's always two against one. How do you throw the Sentinel Shield? I believe it's L1. And it takes your melee charge. You have to have a melee charge for the Sentinel. What is that huge gun? It is the Sweet Business Exotic Horse Rifle. I'm going to try and concentrate a little bit. But it's hard to concentrate when using this weapon because it's quite difficult to use. Like I said, you need to you need to basically start shooting because now it's weak, weak. Now it's pretty good. So I need to reload. I need to pre-fire it before I see enemies. So it's quite difficult to use. Um, like now, basically. Where are they? I can't find them. That's what I mean. Like it's quite a difficult weapon to use. Handgun isn't though. Handgun is pretty crispy. How does the new Titan Slam work? It's basically the Fist of Havoc, but weaker, and you can do it like 10 times. Basically. It's weaker, but you can do it 10 times. What do you think is the best subclass? I don't know. They're all very different and unique. Some are roaming, some are instant, some are strategic, some are range, some are melee, and I haven't used the wall. Try it at a little longer range. Uh, I don't know if I want to, to be honest. I think it might be quite weak. I'm going to try it up the stairs. But hopefully not to get destroyed by the entire team. That's what, like, every time I I shoot one, he gets weak. He hides. Another guy comes out and just destroys me. The bait and switches, man. I'm getting so unlucky. It's difficult to get into one-on-one -on -one gunfights in this game, I'll tell you. Like, you shoot one guy and he just hides, and then the rest of his teammates come out and just destroy you. But to be honest, it's probably my fault for being a lone wolf. What's going on? Have we planted it? They need to defuse it? Yeah, they're going to defuse it. You can basically tell by how red and fiery it is, the timer, but I don't think there's a number on screen that shows you the timer of it. How to use the shield? Um, depends what shield you mean. If you mean the class ability, you just hold the crouch button. Uh, if you mean the central shield, you... I don't know what button it is. I think it's hold L1, I think. I think you hold L1. Are we winning? Yeah, we're winning by three rounds. I don't even know. I'm not, yeah. I said I was going to concentrate, but I'm not. I'm reading chat. I just tried to Twilight Garrison. I'm so messed up right now. Like my, I, I don't even know what to do. I'm trying to Shade Step on Warlocks. 
I'm trying to Twilight Garrison on Titans. I mean, Titans should be able to Twilight Garrison, so. Punch. Thank you. Someone shoot from behind. One minute. Also, there's no slide cooldown. There's no sprint cooldown. So I can sprint slide as much as I want. Memory of the Older is built into the game. Thank you. Uh, Memory of the Older is built in. How cool is that? Sprint slide. Sprint slide. What class are we made for Destiny 2? Hunter. 100%. Set the charges and protect them. Do you think they'll be taking subclasses? Yes, but I think they'll be very different. And they may even be renamed to something else. They may even be completely different subclasses. But I do think there's going to be 100% um, nine subclasses. There'll be a Hunter Void, Warlock Store, Warlock Arc, and... And uh, Titan Solar. Will these snipers in the energy weapon slot? No. Only in the power weapon. Most useful class ability. Most useful is definitely the Warlock Rift because it's a blessing in weapons of light. Um, the Shade Step isn't really useful because it's just a kind of a selfish you thing, but it's very, I mean, I, it's useful to you, but not useful to anyone else. We're just winning. I'm not doing it. I'm just getting carried right now. I'm not paying attention. Thank you to Wee Mona and the second guy for, for the carry right now because I am, I'm just reading chat. What's your favorite character? Um, if you mean like NPC character, probably Lord Shax. If you mean class, I mean uh, Titan, uh, Hunter. Your vids help me so much. Thank you very much. Glad they help. I'm glad you enjoy them. Um, do you think Sunbreak will return? Uh, like, yeah, like I said before, probably, but very different. I mean, Void Walk is different, Gunsling is different, and Golden Gun is different, so they're going to follow suit. Like, we're not going to get the exact same stuff we used to. It's going to be very different. Oh, nice. That mantle just saved me. Nice. So that was a good example of how to use it. That's actually... To be honest, this shield is the perfect way to use this thing. Sorry, team, I was reloading. The enemy team is gone, but the charge remains. Can I defuse in time? I think I can. I should be able to. Yeah. I feel like there's probably about five more seconds left before it would have exploded and killed me. But like I said, there's no as far unless I'm not paying attention. Oh, we won. Nice. I got a what is that? Is that a good rocket launcher? Oh, cool rocket launcher. Nice, let's use that. Not that I'll get any power up. <laughs> um, let's do that. Let's do some more. Let's do some control. Control. Yeah, if you want to leave a like rating on the video, that would also be much appreciated. If you haven't liked the video yet, let's see how many we can get. Um, yeah, likes would be awesome. Likes would be very much appreciated. Let's try and get to 2,000. I want to try and get to 2,000 likes. That'd be cool. I wonder if we can do it. I wonder if you guys can do it. We've got 1,500 people here. And I guess there's, there's probably a lot of you. I mean, a lot of people would have tuned in and left. But I wonder how many of you haven't liked the video yet. Can we get to 2,000 likes before I end the stream? I think that's the goal, but we'll see. You should play with subs. I think I definitely will. I think um, in future streams, I'll just, yeah, just get subscribers in or viewers in. To, to be in the fire team. Will you teabag a dead guy to see it looks like? Yeah, probably not. Um, is this a game in progress? It is. We we are losing, very badly. And I don't know how good this sweet business is going to be, but we'll give it a go. Like, this weapon melts people once you get it firing up, but it's so difficult to do it because it's, it's, it's a real strategic thing. You have to start pre-firing the thing, like, now. Okay, this weapon is actually pretty good. This weapon is actually pretty good. <laughs> Loki, it's really good. And someone shoot me from the side. May not be, like, a crutch perk. Not a crutch perk, a, a, a staple perk that you need. Range may not affect weapons all that much, you know? Maybe stability is the main perk you want. That was a really weird kill. Like, I feel like I should have killed him, but that was weird. 
You should play with more console. I think I definitely will. I was playing with them earlier. Um, yeah. I'm going to leave. That's a science and fighting. I'm going to put on suppressor nade. Because I want to shut some supers down. I'm assuming suppressor nades shut down supers. Doesn't say it does, but I'm assuming it does. Probably shouldn't have popped this here, but, you know. This gun melts. What just killed me? Trip mine grenade. I haven't seen those yet. What is OBS doing? It says it's reconnecting. A couple people said lag. Is it good? Are we good? I think we're good. OBS is like reconnecting. I don't know what it's doing. But I think we should be good. Yeah, I shouldn't have. Shouldn't have done that. Too late. Got the showrunner. Is Iron Banner going to be in Destiny 2? Yes, it is. But we have no idea in what fashion. This uh, sweet business is actually pretty good. It's it's difficult to get firing up. But it's good. You have three slots below your super bar. How do you use all the slots? So you have the nade, melee, and your class ability, which is your shield. Warlocks have the rifts. The weapons are blessing of light. Hunters have a shade step. Tides of the shield. Basically. Yeah, is OBS good? Can use does not compute. That is probably my favorite. Do I have it? I do. I do have it. Let's use that. Um, do you think it's a reason we aren't able to customize characters because they're hiding something? Uh, Destiny 2 beards confirmed. Actually, Destiny 2 is confirmed we don't have beards, unfortunately. That seems you doesn't have beards. Uh, Lars Barkin from Bungie confirmed that he tweeted saying there's no beards in Destiny 2. Hashtag clean shaven. <laughs> so all Guardians in Destiny 2 are clean shaven. What buttons do they bind to? Uh, crouch buttons. The same as Shade Step or Twilight Garrison or Crouch. You hold the crouch button. And that's locked a weapon. Um, okay, seems good. Sounds like it's good. Um, a hand cannon's still good. Yeah, they're pretty good. They're pretty good. They're, they're some of the best weapons in Crucible. They're not like, we don't have amazing ice lunars or anything, but they're very good. I think hand cannon pulse is, but I mean, we haven't like, we haven't had time to really test it out. Control. Does the beta progress transfer? No, it does not. No, it does not. Two exotics? There are three. One for the Hunter, Warlock, and Titan. They're not exclusive, but you can't transfer in the beta, so they're kind of exclusive for now. What's this, what's this Hunter going to do? Nope, there's no one there anymore. Is he dead? Let's go, team. Yeah, get out of the way. I want to try and use the scout rifle a bit more, but it needs to be long ranges. Let's try and pick some people off. Anyone want to be my guest? Where are they going to be behind? I think they're spawn. I think we're actually kind of stomping these guys at the moment. They're kind of trapped inside the spawn. There you go. Right. They're going to be behind now. I like this map. What do you guys think about this map? 
I like it. This is not that great at close quarters. Definitely needs to be used long range. Nice. Bam. You're pulling ahead. Keep it that way. Who's that? Is that a fusion rifle? What is that? Oh, he another guy at full health. What class am I going to main in Destiny 2? Definitely the Hunter. Oh, is that fusion rifle? Yeah, fusion rifle. The one shot. We control all zones. Now we've got a power play, so we get every kill we get, we get three points. Let's place that at his feet. That did nothing. That did nothing. Cool. There's all the entire team there. Cool. What do you think of the new Sentinel, Sentinel subclasses? What do you think of the new Sentinel subclass is fine? It doesn't need improvement or any sort. Um, I don't know. Like I said, I think it's too early to judge. Let's give it until we get to grind this game out and put lots of hours in in the entire week. And then we can start judging what's good and what's bad. But that stuff is kind of valuable to Bungie. Like, our feedback is going to be very important to tell them, you know, what's good, what's bad, what's need changing. Because then Bungie can fix it. Because that way Destiny 2 launches is a better game. So it's good. Do you like the new weapon system with the set rolls? Um, again, I haven't seen the full how it works and mods, so it's hard to judge. Initially, I'm kind of like anxious about it because I like the whole farming for perks and god rolls. Um, so, I don't know. We'll have to see what weapon mods do and um, everything else. These guys like surround me right now. Oh man, can you stop every time? One on one gunfights, please. Have you seen the Voidwalker's ability perks? They're way better than Sentinel. Um, well, that's down to personal preference. The Voidwalker is really cool. It is really cool. That charging up your grenade is really cool. Big fan of that. That's quite awesome. This weapon's making a luck in the chamber sound, but I don't know what's procking. I feel like when you suppress a Titan, his shield should go down. Nice. I need to remember to use my super this game as well. He's gone. Zone C lost. There's people behind us. Is this guy still alive? Uh oh. Pop. The double shield action right now. Yo, that guy hurts. What is he using? What is that? The Minweed 42. What is that? It's a hand cannon. Is this this weapon I'm using right now? Oh yeah, it is. Okay, yeah. I was gonna say it's not the um better devils. Hunter, what are you doing that rift? That's not your rift. Get out of there. Quit messing around. Three minutes remaining. You captured zone B. Whole team's down there. The hunter's weak and he's trying to run. Let's put a stop to that. There's one. Where is this guy? The radar's... I'm, I'm kind of getting used to the radar. I'm kind of getting used to how the radar works. But it is very small. It's very limited, as you can tell. Is he overpowering subclass? Mm, well, again, it's early. It's very early. It's too early to judge. But nothing that I'm getting very frustrated. Like, nothing kills me. I think, wow, that's cheap. But who knows? It's early days. There's still time. Did he stick me? They didn't kill me. Cool. Thank you, Bungie. Sticking A is no longer one shot. Thank you for that. Although, I don't think I would have one shot me in Destiny 1 either. But, big fan. Big fan. Oh, I didn't use my sentinel. Rip. Let me throw the shield. Oh, no. Rip. Rip, rip, rip. How's the character customization? Uh, there is none in this beta right now. 
Can you get rocket launch from the strike? You can get rocket launch as a random drop anywhere. I got one from this Crucible match. What's the light cap going to be for Destiny 2? No idea. They haven't announced it. They're probably still working on it, to be honest. They're probably still thinking of what number. Right now, there's light level 200. Uh, I would say this is like, I'd say maybe three, around 300. Give or take. Around 300. Uh, let's do some of this. Competitive. Slash not really competitive. <laughs> Can I use a bubble? Uh, I could, if I think of it. What do you think of a homecoming mission? I personally think the story mode is going to get a lot better. You are right. It is going to be very much better. I mean, it's kind of <laughs> like... Yeah, it's it's pretty obvious to see the story is Bungie is serious when they're saying the story is going to be much better because you can I mean you can see it's the, the homecoming homecoming is better like I said all the time but homecoming is better than any mission we've got in Destiny One so far so it's pretty good. Uh, what's the Omnon weapon in the thumbnail? That is this thing. Am I using it? I don't have it here. Uh, I was using it earlier on for most of the stream. I don't have it right here though. Uh, Scrivenaut with the $2. How does Destiny 2 compare to Destiny 1 so far? Very different. Looks wise, pretty similar. You know, Crucible, PvE, Strikes, Mission, Guns, Aliens. Looks wise, very similar. But um, the mechanics are very different. How things work, the perks, the loot system, the currencies, everything's very different. The crucible's very different. Um, but yeah, it's very kind of, everything's been well, but very well thought of in this game. I think the only bad thing is that maybe some things may be too good, too well thought of. Um, but yeah, the crucible, as you can see, is like super, Super different now because they're trying to make it super competitive. But yeah, appreciate the uh, appreciate the two dollars, screw them. Oh, it's, no, the guy came at the worst time. Only one minute left. Wait, did we lose? Oh damn. The stream is lagging? I don't think it should be. It says I've dropped zero frames. And YouTube says it's all good. So I don't think it should be. This Titan jump's pretty cool. Love that. Oh, I went too far. Thank you, teammates. One minute left. Nice. Where's that last guy? Is he up here? Yeah, he is. He's sniping. What are you doing, bud? Is there a second guy up here? I think there is. Ugh, that's an acting bot. They don't do too much damage. Well, we're planting the bomb. This guy's trapped in here, so he can either stay in there. Well, there's no way he's winning this game, let's be honest. Gonna be down there. Where are you going? Just trying to get the power ammo. Nice. Yeah, big fan of the scout rifle. I like it. Have you got the linear fusion rifle yet? This not. Uh, it's really fun. No, I haven't. Not yet. Use the striker. I will in a future stream. I will in a future stream. I think we need to use, use the striker. We need to use the gunslinger. And a lot more of the Warlock. Grab Power Armor. I do need to use Power Armor more. There we go. Kick out again. I dare you. Nice, I got him. Who's shooting me? From where? From where? Cool. I'm 
safe. I'm safe behind my bubble. Behind my shield. What do you think of the PS4 Pro Destiny 2 bundle? Uh, the PS4 Pro could have a better design, to be honest. It's just plain... Should have plain white PS4 Pro. Uh, it's pretty, pretty bland. It's cool looking. It's a cool PS4, but it's not... I think a Destiny 2 PS4 should have Destiny themes and stuff. This guy's definitely lagging. But we'll take it. Just going back to propose. Um, Set them and is that the weapon system? Again, it's, it's kind of too early to judge. Um, I like parts. I like most of it. But some parts I don't like. But compared to Destiny 1, again, there are things I really don't like about the Destiny, Destiny 1 weapon system and things that I do like. So it's ups and downs. There's always going to be good and bad parts. The weapon system is very good for Crucible. But not so great for PvE. For PvE, it feels a bit weird, like, especially when there's the kind of the bullet spongy boss, it, bo uh, boss like the um, the strike we have. Like, shooting a bunch of just kinetic ammo just feels a bit boring. Just block that off. Drop that dude. See, so look, that, pop that shield there. Plus, if they... Um, if they walk through that, it damages them a little bit. So these shields are really good. That guy. We're destroying this game. What kinetic am I using? This is the um, does not compute scout rifle. Very good. Very good. How much do I have to donate to get a shout out? Um... As much or as little as you want. Don't don't feel like you have to. If you want to, then you can. But as much or as little as you want. Bam. Ah, he's behind me. Only one minute left. What are we doing right now? We got three versus three. It's cool to see all the heads up display and see all the supers, what everyone has. So you can see you got Gon uh, Golden Gun, Dawn Blade, Striker, Dawn Blade, Void Walker, uh, um, Arc Strider. And they're probably going to win this because it's four versus two, four versus one, and it's rip. And they plant the objective. Use the SMG in Ward of Dawn for fun. Those I should at some point. I'm about to get my Sentinel. But I think I want to use it to be aggressive. Because I think using a bubble here won't be that great. To be honest, I can pop my actual, like, shield thing. And it's almost as good as a bubble, to be honest. If you're in this line of sight, don't peek out unless you got this scout rifle. Because nothing can really compete with the scout rifle, to be honest. I want to try and get some, some power ammo. One minute. Oh, I can't wait to see what you do with that. How did it kill me but not kill him? What? How does that even work? It killed me one shot but half healthed him. What? I was planning to just 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 kill us both. <laughs> okay. It did full damage to me. But like nothing to him. What? The what is going on? To be honest, that was just that was for science. That's for science. My favorite YouTuber. Thank you, Shannon. Appreciate that. That's for science. I thought, wonder what's gonna happen if I shoot the floor. Now we know, guys. Now we know. Now we know what happens if you shoot the floor. <laughs> Bad things happen if you shoot the floor. <laughs> uh oh. You know what I'm going to do? I think it's central time. Oh, to kill this guy. Bam. I threw the shield. Yes, double kill. Nice. That shield is so good. Go on, team. They're all dead apart from one. Kill one guy and go defuse, 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 defuse. Nice, he got it. We drop Lou with the dance as well. Let's hope they get it in time. 
Nice. Nice. I've done a lot of things with science in the stream. I um I jumped into a power generator. I blinked off a cliff. I I did a lot of things for science. Definitely not because I'm bad and I did it by mistake. It's for science. If I if I shoot a rocket at the floor, it's because I was trying to rocket jump. You know, there's science behind it. How big do you think the vault will be? That's a good question. I have no idea. You gonna pop that thing? No. That warlock is suppressed though. More warlock, peek out. Peek out, warlock. Double kill. Nice. Oh, he's got the power ammo. Oh, don't have a suppressor grenade. I was about to use a suppressor grenade. Nice, golden gun. You got him. Good stuff. I was about to use a suppressor grenade, but I didn't have one. You subbed and like. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I appreciate that very much. Let's see if we get to 2,000 likes. Can we get 2,000 likes? We need, what, 150? 150. Can we get 150 likes? I'm sure out of the 1,400 of you that there is at least 150 that hasn't liked. If you enjoy the stream at all, if this killed some time for you at work or school, or you're bored, or you're on Xbox, or you want something to watch while everyone else is playing the beta, if you enjoyed the stream, then a like rating would be much appreciated. Uh. Ooh, oh, it kill me. I didn't... That's interesting. I was unsure whether it would kill me. I thought I might have survived. But I was unsure. Did you attempt to melee a Gorg in the Vault of Glass? That sounds like something I did. That sounds like something I did. You think Golden Guns will be out of PvP because of the duration? I think the top one, yes. I think Golden Gun... The top column is seems quite useless in PvP. But the bottom column will be very good. I think the top column is good for PvE. Because you can just spam a bunch of damage. So... You're my favorite YouTuber tied with War Console. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. And I'm sure he does too. Did someone leave? That was a good game. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that. Um... What is the weapon I was using? Let's go, let's go through the weapons I was using. Does hand cannon still have luck in the chamber? We don't know. There's there's something that makes a sound like luck in the chamber. Let's see the person's having you look at the person. What is this? What are these noises making? Magazine drops and reload, wasting ammo, increased reload speed, improve accuracy and range on the open. Oh, so that ringing sound that you hear in, um, that sounds like luck in the chamber, that is improved accuracy and range on the opening shot. So it's almost like luck in the chamber, but the first shot, has improved accuracy and range. That's interesting. I did feel like the first bullet was a lot more snappy. So that's interesting. This one's pretty cool too. The magazine, um, when you reload, you drop all the ammo that was in the magazine. You don't get to keep it. Wasting ammo, but greatly increased reload speed. And this one increased reload. So I don't see much point in using this, to be honest. It's a bit better reload, but you lose ammo, a lot of ammo. So I wouldn't really use that. Also, look how battered and like dirty the weapon is. Plus the Cirrus hand cannon, which never had a deathly one. Um, are you going to live stream the visit to the farm on Sunday? Yes, absolutely. Um, do, do, do. Then we have Crossfire HCS. That's new. True Sight and Steady Hand. Yeah, I went for this because it's the most range. You got Solar Damage mod. These are weapon shaders. So you can actually have shade. Like, how cool is that? Imagine this weapon is like black and gold, or like silver, or green, blue, purple, like. That's going to be all legendary weapons have shader mods. How cool is that? So imagine this thing with like a shader. That's going to be cool. Imagine this Omelon weapon with a shader. It's a really weird looking weapon. Although exotics don't have shaders so far. Again, this this old perk tree is probably going to change the final build of the game. But um, yeah. Weapon with shaders is pretty cool. Um, what do you think about Sensor so far? It is amazing. It's amazing. It's very good. You can do so much. It seems it's literally it's the best version of Defender or anything you've ever seen. You can throw the shield, and it's really good to throw the shield. It tr tracks enemies, hits multiple enemies, bounces off walls. Throwing the shield is very good. You can defend, which is also very good. 
You can melee people, it's also very good. Base same as an Arc Strider. You can pop a Ward of Dawn Bubble with Armor of Light, also very good. You have the same as Force Barrier, but it applies it to your entire team if they're nearby. So not just Force Barrier where you get the shield and fast reload, but also your entire team, if they're nearby to you, also get it. Um, Manicus will store health for you. Can I be melee? But yeah, Sentinel is very good. Sentinel is very, very good. But the Warlock, I like how it's Twilight Garrison. I like how the uh, Voidwalker can like charge. That is so cool. Um, and Hunter, Hunters are Hunters, man. They're sneaky. They're cool. Shade Step of Love. But yeah, there you go. See, I think that's a good point. A good point to end the stream. I appreciate all you guys stopping by. Um, like all of you guys who are viewing, if you've liked the video, if you've shared it, uh, just hanging out, chat, uh, speaking in chat, um, everyone who donated and tipped, really appreciate you guys as well. Um, is there a way to get up the list of people who did? Um, there should be a way. Yeah, Christopher Lynn, Omega Impulse, uh, Eye Crayons, Bucky Butter. Uh, water, Coolful, and Scruviant. Scrivenaut. Scrivenaut. But yeah, appreciate all of you guys. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for stopping by. I will probably uh, probably be live streaming tomorrow. Um, so follow me on Twitter. The top link the link to my Twitter is the top of the description. So follow me on Twitter, and then you'll see when I'm going to live stream. So I'm going to tweet out when I'm going to live stream. And also look in your sub box, subscribe, and you'll see before I live stream. I'll schedule it as an event, so you'll be able to see when I live stream. This will also go up as a video on my channel after, and yeah. So follow me, on Twitter, see, follow me on Twitter so you know when I'm next live streaming. Subscribe so you see my next live stream, and I should be live streaming tomorrow. Don't know what I'll do, but we'll do something. We'll have some fun. And I'll probably do some videos tomorrow too. Look out some videos on my channel. And yeah, as always, appreciate you guys stopping by. Appreciate all the support, and hope you guys enjoy the stream. And um, I think it's a good place to end it. We have some good games. So yeah.